Praise God. God. Praise God. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to what the 17th episode of Kingdom Minds podcast. Huge. 17. 17 already. Just that quick. Now, today we're going to be talking about something that that makes the devil flee. We're going to talk about something that 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 makes the devil run. Every time you mention this, we're going to talk about something that gives us access to to the very presence of God, to the throne room of the living God. We're going to talk about something that brings healing, that brings deliverance. And you know what that is? That's the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. The The precious blood of Jesus Christ. What an awesome weapon we have in the blood. That's why when the enemy reminds me of my past, I just start to plead the blood of Jesus Christ and the whole atmosphere starts to shift. Darkness gets pushed back because darkness gets pushed back because, you know, the the Bible says that the enemy goes to and fro seeing who he can devour. He wants to kill, steal and destroy. So what I do is I say I plead the blood of Jesus. God gave us authority. Plead that blood. Release that blood and watch him flee because it reminds him of. Of Calvary, where he got defeated at. <laughs> amen. It is so, finished. Amen. Let me pull up a scripture here. As you guys are, are tuning in, make sure you share share this uh, word. It's the blood of Jesus. If you know someone that needs healing, someone that needs deliverance, and they've been trying everything they could do, just let them know the blood of Jesus Christ still works today in 2022. It still works, yeah. and it's always going to work. So let's go to Ephesians 1 7. Real quick, if you guys have your, your swords out. Let me pull my let me pull my sword up. Sword. The sword, the sword of the spirit. All right. What I said, Ephesians. One, seven. OK, what you got? Let me go to the NLT right here. I like the NLT and KJV, whatever. Let's see. I guess it's a good version. I like I NLT. It, man. Verse mm-hmm. seven. It says mm-hmm. he who is so rich in kindness. I'm sorry, where are we at? Oh, he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom. He purchased our freedom with what? The blood, blood. of his son Amen. and forgave our sins. And then we're familiar with the, with the scripture. Everybody is even unbelievers, probably, where it says John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that those who believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That scripture is talking a lot about the bloodshed because Jesus didn't just come into this world. Basically, he came in this world to die so we can be set free from all of our wicked ways and bloodshed was required. And now yes. Christ shed his precious blood so we can have a life of, of victory. And that's what we're going to be. We're going to be uh, touch on the blood from you know different angles today. But God was speaking to me so much about the cross and what happened at the cross when when the nails went in his hands and in his feet and the blood was shed. He was defeating Satan. Satan thought he had the victory, but Come on. he was a fool because in three days, the king of kings rose up. But it's only through the bloodshed. He had to die first, though. You know, and I, and I believe even God is speaking even right now in my spirit. Something's got to die in our life and God's going to resurrect some brand some brand new stuff in our life. You know, we got to die to the old ways, got to die to the old habits. Stop holding on to the garbage and God's going to release something brand new, something fresh in your life, something better. We always think that. The Bible says, don't be wise in your own eyes. You know, we got to let go of things and and uh, just trust the Lord. So today we're going to have a really good discussion about the blood of Jesus. There's power in the blood. Amen. You want to be set free today? Plead the blood of Jesus. Learn about the blood today because there's power and wow. it makes the enemy flee. Amen. 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 I, I, I could set it off more, but I'm going to let my brothers, you know, tap in because I, I get real excited about the blood. That was one of my first revelations was the blood. Because many of us hear that, oh, Jesus died for me. But but the moment you get a revelation of Calvary and what the blood means, it, it, it draws you more to Christ. Because you're like, wow, Praise this man. Sh-. Amen. You're like, this man shed his blood for me. Like somebody I, I never saw face to face. But that's what that's what faith is about. That's what believing is about. Yes. Believing is there's an action that's required. You don't just say, OK, I believe Jesus. Yeah. But there's healing taking place. There's deliverance. So it, if we're really struggling still. With, with, with sin and with our flesh, we got to say, oh, wow, am I really washed in the blood that sets us free? Am I really washed? Am I getting washed? We take a bath every day, a physical mm. bath, but am mm. I being washed in the, in the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ that makes the enemies flee? The enemies can't mm. attach themselves to me no more. They got to flee by the blood of Jesus Christ. That's why he That's died. Right. There's victory in the blood. Amen. amen, amen. That's right. So amen. We, we just want all of you to be encouraged today. And uh, about the blood, just, just take your time, just relax, just meditate and hear what the Lord has to say. Later round, I'm going to open up the Zoom line and you guys could tap in for prayer and for questions. Praise so, God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 
Amen. Uh, well, he hit a. I guess I'll. I guess I'll, I guess I'll tap ahead, in. Dude. Yeah, tap in. Unless you're going to tap. Uh, oh, go ahead, Jerry. He hit a couple. He, he hit a couple key words. You said uh-huh. purchased us with his. He purchased us with his blood and enjoy the cookie. It's it, 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 mm. it's you're free because of the blood of Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> he set you free from your sins. My coffee too. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. yeah. Um, uh, now a, a couple of things that he said. Amen. Pray. A couple of things that he said. Uh, huge uh, key words for me is um, he purchased us with his. He purchased us with. His, he bought us with his blood. That's right. And yes. um, what mm-hmm. what verse sticks out to me is the is the Revelation um, five. Five nine it says, and they, and they all, they all bowed down before the Lamb who was slain, the Lamb who was sla- who was worthy to open the scroll to uh, break the yeah. seal, and and um, the the Lamb that was slaughtered, and why was he slaughtered? He was uh, Revelation five nine. It says, you are worthy to open the scroll, mm. to take the scroll because you were slain with your blood. Now what did the blood do? It's, it's one of my favorite things that the blood did. What am I, what of his, what did his blood do with your blood? You purchased, like Lewis said, you purchased, Man, you bought on. me. That's right. I am hit. I am his. You purchased me with your blood from every tribe, every language, every people, every language. We are no longer black or white or Chinese or, or Puerto Rican. We are one people. The three of us here, we may look different, we are, but we are all God's children. We all, are right. on the, we're all in the kingdom right. of God. He bought, he bought us and, and, and he did two things for us. He bought us with his blood. That's right. Um, out of every tribe. Of, and here we go. Verse 10. The biggest verse that you can live by right here. Mm-hmm. As, as, as bottled the blood. He has made us to be kings uh, and priests. Priest. To serve Come our on. God. Uh. And to reign on the earth. So he made us priests. Uh, what I love when he purchased us is we have access to, remember how Moses went in the mountain and he came down and no one could, uh, you know, his face shone like glory. Mm-hmm. Everyone had to what? Everyone had to wait for the presence for him to go up there to see God face to face. God purchased us with his blood to become priests. The priest had to, uh, the priest had the only access from the tabernacle. And I'm, not, I'm sure um, we're going we're to get deeper in this, but, but my favorite lead off, so the blood is he gave access to the throne. He mm. died for our sins. Amen. He, he, uh, he, he broke the veil in two. So when the priest can only go, I love when Jesus said this, he said, he said, I'm willing to sacrifice myself. I'm, I want a one-on-one relationship. I'm sick of just the one priest coming. And this kind of, this kind of, this kind of, this kind of, this kind of uh, defeats all the Catholics out there and all the pastors who have big heads that mm. all they could do is hear, hear from God. But come on. But, but Jesus said, I want to sacrifice because what? I want a personal relationships, mm, not one-on-one on. with the high priest. He it didn't do it for him. In the garden, he wanted, he wanted a one-on-one relationship with Adam and Eve. He 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 negated the high priests for coming in the holy to holy. He says, none of this one person for a thousand people. He said, I want a relationship one-on-one. Mm. So Jesus Christ became the high priest. In Hebrews, it says uh, he became the high priest. He became the sacrifice. Praise so the God. high priest Amen. does not have to go and sacrifice. He said, I'm sick of the, uh, the, the high priest only coming into the holies of holies. I want Jeremy. I want yes. Gerard. I yes. want Lewis to have access to my holies of holies. Amen. He broke the veil into the, the high. He purchased us with his blood to yes. become what? What does verse 10 say? He purchased us with his blood to become priests. Mm, amen. Praise become God. priests. So That's now right. we are priests. We can. Jesus Christ is the high priest. We can go to the holies of holies and say, "Lord, I offer my sins. Lord, I'm on the holies of holies." That's my favorite part. <laughs> I can enter His presence now. No longer does Praise Moses God. have a veil over his face. Praise God. The glory is shining. I can have the glory. You can have the glory right. because with it, because with His blood. With his blood, he be- he became the lamb slaughtered for us. He became the sacrifice the priest had to do every yes. day. And we can go. That's my favorite part. So wow. that's my favorite part is access to the throne. I can have the glory. You can have the glory. Amen. No longer do you have to say to the pastor, pastor, what did God say? Come on. Moses, Moses, what did God say? No. Jeremy, what did God say? I can that's pray good. right now at the, at, on my couch and God's glory will come on me. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Blessings, everybody. We're talking about the blood. Sister uh, Megan, it's good to have you. Brother yes. Eric, it's good to have everybody in here with us fellowship. And we're fellowshipping about the blood of Jesus, something we all hopefully have in common. If you're not familiar with the blood of Jesus, our prayers that you will get familiar tonight Amen. at the end of That's this. Right. 
at the end of this teaching. Jeremy brought up the garden. He brought up Adam and Eve. That's the point of the blood. We were created to be in fellowship with the Most High God. But what separated us from fellowship with God was sin. Sin came in and entered it in and it separated right. us. And what did they do when so many of us get caught up in sin? They fled from the presence of God. Mm. He came, he said, Adam, where are you? It wasn't as if God didn't know where Adam was. <laughs> God knows everything. Right. But he said, Adam, there's no fellowship here. <laughs> You're fleeing from my presence. Why? Where are you? Mm. And he saw that he was naked and Adam tried to cover himself. Isn't that what we do? Mm, yeah. We go to every other religion. We go to Buddha. We go to Allah. Uh, 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 we, 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 we go to Is We try to cover our own mm. sins. We try mm. to cover ourselves. But right. I'm telling you, people, you cannot cover yourself. Only right. God can cover you. And the only way that you can be covered, something has to die. Let's go to Genesis real quick. I just want to catch this real quick. Amen. Genesis, I want to say chapter three. I wasn't even going to go here, but Jeremy led me there. All the right. Spirit. Well, praise God. Ali. Praise God. Ali. I'll read verse seven so you can see it. And the eyes of both of this is chapter three, Genesis. And the eyes of both of them were open and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Mm. They tried to cover themselves. They tried to cover their own nakedness. They tried to cover their own sin, but it doesn't work that way. You can't do it. That's Only right. God can cover your sin. Amen. Check it out. Verse 21, same chapter, chapter three. And unto Adam also and to his wife did the lord god make coats of skins ah, and clothed them skins come from animal blood was shed blood <laughs> had to be shed for them to be covered why why does blood need to be shed leviticus 17 and 11 says this for the life of the flesh is in the blood and i have given it to you on the altar to make atonement for mm. your souls for it is the blood by reason of the life that makes atonement Man. We understand that without the shedding of blood, there is no remissions of sin. Mm. God loves us. And he had an issue here. He created us to be in close fellowship with him. He wants mm -hmm. a close relationship with us, just like Jeremy said, just like Lewis said. Man. But his issue is he's holy and he's righteous and he can't have fellowship <laughs> with sin. His solution was Jesus Christ. His Amen. solution was he came in the form of sinful flesh. But without sin, suffer, die, shed his own blood that we may be drawn close unto God in personal relationship. Check this out. Amen. Ephesians chapter 2 and 12 and 13. And I'll pass it on. That at the time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, we had nothing to do with the commonwealth of Israel. Mm. We had nothing to do with the covenant that God made with Israel. But now we do by faith. We all Jews by faith. We are the seed amen. of Abraham. Every promise of Abraham is yes and amen to us amen. by the blood of Jesus. Our flesh and blood has nothing to do with it, but his flesh had everything to do with it. It says the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope without God in the world. Amen. Does anybody amen. remember what that felt like? Come on. I meditated on that today. I went down memory lane. Mm. And I remember what it was like when I was in a world and I had no hope, mm. no That's right. future, wow. didn't know what I was doing day to day. I remembered it. But check this out. Verse 13 is so sweet. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were sometimes far off mm. are made close by the blood of Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Come on. It's the, it's the blood. It's the blood that brings us close to God. Mm. because when he looks at me now, he doesn't see me. He sees his son. The scripture wow. says we are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And Lewis says something powerful early. I don't even know if he caught how good it mm. was. Come on. Come on. He says something powerful. He says, stop holding on to the past. Mm. Mm. Who are you to Hello. remind God of something that he forgave you for and forgot? That's right. If you're in Christ, and it's under the blood. He says, I will make your sins white as snow. Wow. That's powerful. Who are you to remind God? Listen, yeah, I'm not going to read all of them, but if you look at Hebrews chapter 9 and chapter 10 and you run through those chapters, it says something, Lou, that really stuck out to me as mm. I was reading. And you brought it up when you said, stop thinking about it. Let Amen. it go. Notice it talks about purging your conscience from sin about three or four times just between Hebrews chapter 9 and 10. Wow. Wow. 
Amen. I'm telling you, it's in chapter nine, verse yeah, 14 I got that, and 15. Yeah, I got that set up right here. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I'm telling you, it purges your conscience constantly. Let's read it, just two verses. How much more? No. I'm not 9, 14. But you know what? It's so good. You got to go up to 11. You just yeah, yeah, to. yeah. I was going to, I was, I was just about to read 13 and 14. Go ahead. <laughs> well, go ahead. You can read it. Read from 11. Read from 11, 11 All right. and 14. Go All ahead. right. It says, Come uh, on, so, guys, come get this. Amen. It says, So Christ has now become the high priest over all the good things that have come. come he on, has now. entered that greater, more perfect tabernacle in heaven, which was not made by human hands and is not part of this created world. Yes. With, the, with his own blood. Not the blood of goats and calves. He entered the most holy place once for all time and secured our redemption forever. Verse 13 says, under the old system, under the old system, the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer could cleanse people's bodies from ceremonial impurity. Mm -hmm. Just think how much more the blood of Christ will purify our consciences from uh -huh. sinful deeds so that we can worship the living God by the power of. Of the eternal spirit, Christ offered himself to God as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. Praise Amen. God. Part of the problem was with them having to sacrifice animals wow. over and over That's and over. They were reminded of their sin and their sinful nature. But mm. Christ eliminated sin by sacrificing himself one time. They had to do it over and over and over. So they were constantly reminded of sin. This is why the devil constantly constantly yep. tries to bring condemnation because mm -hmm. if he could bring condemnation on you and remind you of your sin yeah you'll walk in defeat amen, amen. Yep. you'll walk in guilt you'll do what adam and eve did and you'll flee from the presence of god when you really should be drawn to it this is why it says come boldly to the throne of grace i can come boldly because of the blood Amen. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pass it on because i could oh my god this is so amen. good this is so powerful amen and that's you go ahead look no, nah, yeah, I was just going to say uh, uh, verse uh, 14, is, it was like really sticking out to me when it says how much more the blood of Christ will purify mm. our consciences yes. from sinful deeds. You know, that's, that's talking about the lust, because before you ever do something with your hands or you put footwork to it, it started in your conscience first. It's starting yeah. in your mind. That's where the battlefield is at. That's, that's what we often yeah. talk about. But that's look what true. Jesus said. He said, you don't have to keep lusting. Some of you don't want to cheat on your wife. Some of, some of you don't want to keep uh, lying all the time. Well, that's where the blood comes into play. You got to recognize that you have authority in the blood of Jesus Christ. You got to start to plead the blood over your mind. Uh, uh, start uh, to re uh, do some warfare. Don't just sit there uh, and, and take it in. You know, some of you don't want to live that lifestyle that you're living. You know better. You know there's a real hell. You know there's a real heaven. And maybe some of you even, even tasted the goodness of God before. But what you got to do is just start to understand the blood. There's power in the uh, blood. Uh, yes. The blood will draw, draw you closer to, to Jesus Christ. You know, it, like what Brother Gerard did, that's what I often do. I reflect on where yeah. Lewis used to be 12, 13 years ago. And that's I was right. miserable. I, I had a, a, it was a counterfeit joy. You know, I, I thought I was in love. It was full of lust. You know, those, those moments right there until, until I understood what the blood of Jesus Christ, man, my whole entire life changed. Nobody had to tell me to read the Bible. Nobody had to tell me, stop listening to that. Stop watching that. Stop hanging with them. The blood of Jesus would draw you into a perfect communion with the Holy Spirit. And you, you won't have nobody giving you a, it won't feel like rules to you. you you'll mm -hmm. love Jesus because you'll recognize the blood, what it's mm -hmm. done for me, how much he was tortured and beat and whipped Amen. on for me, you know? Mm -hmm. So if, if anyone of you are struggling, start to plead the blood and mm -hmm. really mean it. You keep saying it, you'll, you'll see a big difference. Do a study Amen. on the blood. Come on. Amen. I want to jump in on that because uh, they transitioned to authority. And that first verse that we read or in Revelation 5, it said he was, he, the Lamb of God was slain. His blood was shed. Uh, he yes. was, uh, he purchased, he purchased us. He purchased, a, he bought us. So when you, when you buy someone, you give someone all your authority, you give someone all your uh, 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 inheritance. What's yours is theirs. And what's yours, is, you bought them. They're a part of you. Jesus, he said, I bought Jeremy. I bought, he's Italian. I bought Lewis. He's Porter. I bought Gerard. He's, <laughs> he's, he's uh, African-American. I bought, this guy here, he's from China. I bought them That's all. Right. They're all mine. And here's the two things he gave us. What they're talking about right now. Uh, they, they said, they said he, he bought us and made us priests. So now all of a sudden the priest that drawer was talking about that has to go to the holies of holies day after day, day after day, day after day, Jesus became the lamb. He became, yes. and, then, and then number, uh, 
So, so now we can go before the throne and say, by the blood of Jesus, That's right. by Come your on. lamb, oh God, by the lamb that was slaughtered, you were the lamb that the priest brought in, but now you died for us. Mm. You want a relationship one-on-one. And, and number two on Revelation 5.10 says he made it. This is what Lewis wants you right here. Authority over your mind, authority yeah. over Amen. your anxieties, That's authority right. over your problems. He said he made us kings. You are, you can say it right now. So I am a king. I'm a king. I am a, I'm a king, king in the kingdom. That's right. When you, when you're a king, you have authority. What did the Bible say? Death has no mastery over Jesus. Mm. Death could not hold him. So check this Ooh. out. Every time you mention the blood, it pisses Satan off That's right. for his failed uh -huh. attempts to end and Jesus's authority. That's all it is. You mentioned the blood. It reminds Satan that <laughs> of his failed attempt on the cross. That, that was his only hope. His whole career was, was I'm going to end Jesus's life and, and, and gain authority. So what Lou was talking about is Revelation 5, 10. It says he, he gave us the right to be a king. A king means like what Lou said, you have authority over your mind. Yeah. You have the mm. blood has defeated death on the cross, has defeated devils, has defeated demons. Revelation 5.10, it, it has defeated uh, demons. You are a king. So by, mm. the, by, by, by telling Satan in the blood of Jesus, you're yeah. reminding him he, his failed attempts to crucify mm -hmm. my Jesus Christ. And while, while he was on the cross, he, uh, he, he, he was hoping this is it. This is the end. But he did not know that, like, like what Gerard said, through the shedding of blood was an awesome love covenant proving yes. That we're his sons, we're his daughters. He's given us authority. Yep. He's given us access mm -hmm. through the blood of Jesus. Satan did not know that what he was doing was creating a new covenant. Satan mm. himself helps <laughs> helped create a new covenant to say, Jeremy, you have access. Jeremy, you have authority. Just use the blood of Jesus. Satan is scared because he's reminded that uh -huh. he could not defeat Jesus on the cross and the blood says that Jesus has authority over demons. Jesus has authority over. So you speak to yourself right now, say That's any right. death in my life, any depression in my life in the Amen. blood of Jesus yes. that Satan has control over you by the blood of Jesus, Satan, you are defeated. Death Come is on. defeated right. in Jesus, in Jesus name. name. It reminds Satan that he is number two in the spiritual world. Mm. You know, one of the tricks yeah. and the lies that Satan uses is just touching on what your brother said when he talked about negative thoughts, the battlefield being in your ah. mind. One of the things, and some of you may know this, but I just want to remind you and tell those that don't. Amen. If a negative thought, a lustful thought flashes across your mind, that isn't sin. Mm. It's sin when you entertain it. Come on. Okay. It's sin when you don't cast it word. down. Come yeah. On. Okay. He flashes things across your mind. Mm, the problem wow. becomes you get a problem if you start to meditate on that thought. Mm. You start to play with it and then wow. your imagination That's rolls. Good. Okay. That's the issue. But you have to take authority over your mind. The minute mm -hmm. it comes, you cast that thing down immediately. You mm. bind it right now yeah. in the name of Jesus. Jesus immediately. Name. You don't entertain it. You don't have to entertain it. You have that power <laughs> and authority, like these brothers yeah. said, by the blood of Jesus. Another thing that I love about the blood is it made all of us family, whether you're Chinese, whether you're yeah. Italian, whether you're Puerto matter. Rican, whether you're whatever. Mm -hmm. It made us all one tribe. It made us all one nation. Mm. You got some people that say only a certain people will be saved. Is this and the third? They're liars. They're heretics. They're of their father, the devil. Mm. Jesus Christ died for everyone that is willing to come to him and repent and believe check this out revelation chapter seven and nine it just came to me as you were talking after this i looked and there before me was a great multitude that no one can count mm. from every nation tribe mm. people and language standing before the throne and before the lamb they were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches mm -hmm. in their hands <laughs> that was made possible by the blood of jesus christ wow the blood of jesus christ made us all family amen it Amen. made us all family. We now have the same father. That's why I can say Jeremy's my brother. That's mm. why I can say Lewis is my brother. That's why I can say, oh, brother Bob's on here. Bob James. That's why I can say he's Amen. my brother. That's brother why Bob. I can say Megan's my sister. Uh, Amen. Jasmine is my sister. Yes. I can say that because of the blood of Jesus. Wow. It made us close. Amen. But I praise God for the blood of Christ because, like I said, those priests 
had to sit there and offer sacrifice after mm. sacrifice over and over and over. That's right. In the presence of God, God hates sin so much that these men had to make sure that they were right. They had to uh, offer sacrifice for themselves first, mm. for their own sins, and then the sins of the people mm. but it was so serious that if they went in and there was sin and fault in them they would be struck dead in the presence of a holy god mm. so they had to tie a rope on them just to get him out i just mm. want to read some real quick hebrews chapter 10 praise god for the blood of jesus look amen for the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of things can never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year continually mm. make those people perfect for then would they not have ceased to be offered because that the worshipers once purged should have no more conscience of sins. There's that consciousness again. Come on. There it is. Again. That mind state of holding on to sin, holding <clears throat> on to the past, that mind state of just being sinful mind. Check it out. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins mm. every year. For if it is not possible that the blood of bulls oh. and goats should take away sins, check this out, verse five. This is the one that gets me, Jer. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he says, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body thou hast prepared for me. Mm. Mm. The body of Jesus Christ was prepared and it was ordained before he Jesus. laid the foundation of the world. It says a body you prepared for me. Jesus didn't just show up on the scene. Jesus was always here. Mm. In the beginning was the word and the Amen. word was word. God and the word Amen. was with God and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. But understand, he said, look, a body you prepared for me, mm. a sacrifice was prepared for me. Wow. Amen. Thank you. Lord. Amen. He Thank prepared you. that body. He already knew how Thank he was going to do it. He knew the lineage that it was going to come through. He prepared that body for us in Jesus name. Amen. It says a body you have prepared for me. Praise God for the blood of Jesus, because it brought us all close and made us all family and made amen. us all children of the most yes, high amen, God. Amen, amen. Right. Amen. Like amen. Yeah, brother Gerard, like, you know, in, in the beginning you, you're like, you, um, you probably don't even know like what, like what, if you caught it, like I, I you said, you don't even know you probably uh, caught what you were saying. Huh. And I didn't know where I was going with it. I'm like, as I'm talking, I'm like, am I even making sense? It was like, no, it, was it, like the, it was like the spirit of God just like really took over. And I believe that yeah. that's a word for, I don't know, maybe one or two, even if it's just for one of you in here. Just let go, man. Let go of whatever it is. Let, let the blood of Jesus cleanse you from the past. Don't, don't, don't condemn yourself. You know, the blood of Jesus sets you free. Yeah. Amen. I know I just I got done, but you, you, you just said something powerful there. I got a tap and a tap after your tap. You said some people need to let that thing go. Let me tell you something. The scripture says Satan is the accuser of the brother. Mm. It says he runs back and forth before God, accusing the brothers day and night. That's right. I don't know if anybody ever been in trouble but i've been to jail a few times praise god for the blood of jesus amen and and, and 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 seriously i stood before a judge and there was a da that was trying to prosecute me mm. and thank god that i had a lawyer i need you to understand that jesus christ is not only the king of kings the lords of lords he's not only your savior he's not only the uh, uh lion of the tribe Come of on. judah the lamb Come of on. god but he's also your attorney attorney yeah he's your mediator <laughs> amen He's also your high priest. What do you think he's doing? You think he's just sitting mm. there? Come on. Yeah. So when Satan comes and accuses, no, 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 no. Father, look, I died for him. Amen. I died for her. Yeah. So when Amen. Satan makes accusation, when he brings forth, no, no, no. Remember the blood. Look, see, Amen. he repented. Amen. Yep. Look, see, she Alive. repented. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Remember the blood. Yeah. It Amen. was paid for. It was paid for in full. Amen. Newness of life. Amen. Praise God. So you don't listen. There's no condemnation. That's right. Get rid of condemnation. Get rid of guilt. Mm -hmm. Your sins and the consequences thereof was laid on Jesus Christ. Go ahead, Amen. 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 Yeah. I want to tap into that just like you guys. So let me just read what you said. Romans 8 1. Therefore, now you have Come to on. understand this. You have to understand this verse that there's no condemnation because you don't have to wait. Yes. You don't have to. Okay. So Gerard sins. The high, you you got to go find a high priest. He's got to be consecrated. Um, he has to go before <laughs> the Lord, forgive. Like, like Gerard says, day after day, day after day, God erases us. So uh, Jesus says, through through his blood, he sacrificed. He, he became the mm -hmm. lamb. He said, once and for all, like Gerard, 
Uh, and Lewis said, once and for all, I am your sacrifice. All Amen. your sins are nailed on the cross. That's right. The blood, the blood reminds Satan. I want the blood to remind you. I'm serious about you. I Come showed on. my blood for you. It wasn't a promise. It wasn't a, a contract written on a paper. Yes, it was God. a blood covenant. It was serious. If you want to just uh, 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 define it into one word, his covenant, he was serious about you. He's serious mm. about me. And he made it so serious that he died for us to say, I am on your side. I died for your sins. Every time he became a curse for us on the cross, he became a curse for us. He became the, he became by shedding the blood. He became the, the sacrifice mm -hmm. to remove that sin. And now there is, and there's one guy in the Bible I read a couple of days ago. So now there is no condemnation, eight, Romans 8, 1, for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the, the law of of the, of the spirit of life set me free. Let's check this out from the from the law of sin. Now, now we're understanding what that means. The law, the law of the spirit of life, Jesus Christ coming in and saying, That's my new law, has yes. set me free from the law of sin. The law of sin says that Come there on. is no remission for your sins. You have to um, you have to uh fight earn earn forgiveness. The law says if you sin. You, you, even in a lot of cases, you die. You're banished from the, uh, Jesus says the new law of the spirit mm. means yeah. there's never condemnation. And then I want to read an act real quick. So uh, if uh, I need uh, some uh, of that. <laughs> so, um, so let me read an act real quick. That really, um, really, um, opened my eyes a little bit. So Praise Paul, uh, Paul, one of the biggest sinners, right? Uh. Acts, Acts 20, 26, uh, Paul persecuted the church, uh, pulled people out of their houses, brought them to jail, murderous, murderous um, threats, and probably put a lot of people to death. He said this, check, this, check what Paul understood about the spirit mm. of God, about the spirit, not the, not the law of sin, which, which, which means that, that someone else has to ask for forgiveness for you. Go before God's throne and sacrifice, and you probably didn't even mean it. You're going to sin the next day, and you got to do it again. Look what Paul said right here. Now I know that none of you among you whom I've gone preaching, you, you might not see me again. Check what mm. Paul said, Acts 20, 26. Write it down for everyone who is condemned. I'm, I'm going to write down myself. Uh, Acts 20, 26. Therefore, I declare to you today. Check this out. This is powerful. Check this out. I declare to you today. I am innocent of the blood of all men. Mm. I am, I am innocent of the blood of all men. I am wow. innocent. He even declared Acts 20, 26. I have no condemnation. I don't care what I did. Paul was one of the biggest sinners in the, in the Bible, you know, right. sin to sin, but he was a murderous. <laughs> he, he hated, he hated the Christ that he's preaching right after he, right after he, 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 he became a Christian. They wanted to kill him. They turned on him. He had a, he said this with all confidence, I am innocent of all blood. He said, keep your, keep watch over the flock uh -huh. of which the Holy spirit has given you shepherds of which he bought with his own blood. He understood. I am innocent of all. I just wanted to, I just wanted to tap in on, on, on what those guys said about no condemnation about let, letting go your past and, and uh, feeling guilty. Uh, right. And it may haunt your mind once in a while. You might be alone or you might be driving by yourself and it might come to your brain and say, look how bad, look how bad you hurt this person. That is not God's voice. That's the devil's voice. If Paul can say in Acts 20, 26, I am innocent of all men's blood because of the blood of Jesus, then if Jesus forgave a terrible sinner, he, can, he has forgiven me. He, listen, he has forgiven me. He's forgiven me of my uh, uh, terrible, terrible Amen. past, my terrible uh, things I've done. He's forgiven all of us. He has. I For just sure. came to mind when you guys said about that. Um, you know, so, so I can't, some came to my mind as you were just reading that um, in Romans 8.1. I just want to read the definition real quick of, you know, condemnation for those that say you might be a new Christian as you watch this. It says the expression of a very strong disapproval. Wow. So what these brothers are saying is like you don't feel like you're good enough for the Lord. But that's mm -hmm. what the blood is about. It, it, it sets us free. So you don't have to feel like that anymore because none of us are good enough to Come go on. to heaven. That's why God yeah. sent his only beloved son to take away what the sin of the world, not for one particular race, for everybody. But, but you got to go and receive that blood by faith. Now. Another thing in the scripture in verse one, it says there is no condemn, 
it says now there is uh almost memorized it. There is no condemnation to those that are in Christ. Mm. To the and then NLT says to those that belong to Christ. Mm. You could oh, be in a church. You could be in a ch- you could be in a church building and still not belong to Christ. Come you could be in ch- you could be in church for three decades and still not belong to Christ. Mm. Come on, if we belong to Christ, there's no condemnation, and we want to be walking down with our head low. There's victory. Amen. There's power in the blood of Jesus Christ. My God died on the cross to set us free. So we're not the, the we're not the, the 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 victims all the time, and we're not sitting here with our head down, getting beat on by the devil. There's power. Amen. There's authority. I'm not sitting down. With, with, I, I used to condemn myself when I was an unbeliever, when I was in darkness, when I when I had no clue yes. what the blood of Jesus did. When I heard Jesus die for my sins is I used to go to church and I heard Jesus die for my sins and I was condemning myself until I got a revelation in 2010 when I truly got saved. I had a revelation of the blood. So what I'm saying is sometimes it's really good to examine ourselves to see if we're in the faith to see, do I really belong to Christ or are my friends with the world and always walking in defeat? I want to mm. stop smoking weed. I just can't. I want to stop fornicating. I just can't. They're talking about this power in the blood but I'm still bound to the devil. And we just got to be mm. real with ourselves and acknowledge that Jesus loves you so much. And that's why he died to set you free, uh-huh. you know, but a lot of times it's, it's the, the wrong choices that we make that keep us bound to the enemy. Amen. amen. Yeah. That word. There's a reason Satan always tries to remind you of sin mm-hmm. and anybody on here that I'm speaking to you, stay away from anybody that brings up old stuff. <sighs> Telling mm. you. Don't fellowship with people that bring up the past. Oh, oh, you remember this? and it? No, I don't remember that at all. It's washed. <laughs> that, you remember you did this? No, nah, that wasn't me. The dude that did that is dead. He was crucified. With no the you're looking at a new creation. This is a new man. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Stay away from uh-huh. people that are always trying to bring up things. Come old on. things. Listen, Satan is always trying to remind you of the past. Come we on. should do him a favor and remind him of his future. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Let's, let's, let, let's remind him where he's going. Let's declare by the blood of Jesus. But listen, I don't have time to deal with people that always want to talk about old stuff. You always want to bring up things that no longer matter. They're under the blood. Listen, right. stay away from people that want to look backwards and talk about the past. Let's talk about now and let's talk about the future. Yeah, amen. Amen. You can't do anything about yesterday. Come on. Yesterday is gone. Stop beating yourself up about it. If you're serious and you're sincere, repent and let's move forward. Lewis said something powerful earlier. He said those that belong to Christ. Yes, that's right. Those that belong to Christ. That matters. That stuck out. I was reminded of some Amen. scripture here. Second Timothy chapter two, chapter two, verse 19. Listen, there's something with this conscience thing. With this mind thing. Understand, mm. people call it the forbidden fruit that they ate in the Bible. That's not what it was called. It was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Mm. There's something about a man, a carnal man in his carnal state, knowing the knowledge of good and evil. Uh-huh. What Jeremy just read, I believe it's in Romans chapter seven, and maybe I believe it's in chapter seven, and maybe six, or maybe chapter seven. Paul said this. He says, "I find then a law that sin is present with me. That is in mm. my flesh." Ooh. Yep. So when you see the law of God that says thou shalt not, sin is activated in the sinful flesh and mm. carnal nature of a man. Amen. It's just activated. That's wow. why Christ Amen. had to crucify the yeah. flesh. Amen. Where there is no law, the sin won't act. Come right? on. Yep, the power right. of sin is the law. That doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with God's righteous law. Everything that I'm saying right now is in Romans chapter 6, 7, and 8. Mm. The law is perfect. There was fault with us. Amen. That's why Christ crucified wow. the flesh. And when we enter into his body, we are crucified with him. Mm. And now we're dead to sin Amen. and alive to God through Jesus Christ, through that body. Check this out. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. Having this zeal, the Lord knows them that are his. Check it out. It says the Lord knows them that are his and let everyone that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Amen. Come on. Amen. There's forgiveness in the blood. And, and, and just like, listen, he forgave the adulterous woman, but he said, go your way and sin no more. No Amen. more. Listen, when you get that new nature, don't go back. You don't have Amen. to go back. Sin does not rule over you anymore. It does not have power over you anymore because of the blood of Jesus. The Amen. precious blood of Jesus, the blood of the lamb. It says they overcame by the word of their testimony Amen. and the blood of the lamb. 
Mother Amen. Mother. Amen. That's true. Why? Listen, your testimony matters. Protect your testimony. Amen. Yeah. Protect your witness. He's not only after your soul, but he's also after your testimony and your witness. He wants to completely mm. discredit you and discredit God. That's why it says everyone mm. that names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Uh, depart from iniquity. Depart, depart. Because you no longer live for yourself. You no longer represent yourself. You represent Jesus Christ. Let everyone that names the name of Christ mm. depart from iniquity. Amen. He's not only after your soul. He's also after your testimony. It Amen. says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and, uh, and the word their of their testimony. Your testimony Amen. matters. Your witness matters. Amen. Yeah. I'm over here smirking because I told him, I, I put, you can see in the comments, I said, put up the blood emoji if you appreciate Calvary. And everyone's flooding the, the comment well, section. <laughs> hey, you guys, We're make like sure blood. you like and share this. Yeah, Get please. this word out. Share the word of God. People need to hear about the blood. That's right. We're worried about everything else. We need to start pleading the blood of Jesus Amen. over our mind, Come over on. our marriages, yeah. oh, over our finances, over up. our children. Plead Amen. the blood of Jesus over everything. Praise God. Go ahead, Jeff. You just set me up with the plead the blood because uh, plead the blood. Uh, plead. I've been reading. I've been reading Exodus. Okay. And and, um, and God sent many plagues to Pharaoh. Good and Pharaoh, man. just real simply, Pharaoh did not release the children of God. He did not release the children of God to go worship until the last plague. And what was mm. it? It was the shedding of blood. Pharaoh, mm. the only yeah. the only way Pharaoh released the children of God to go and worship. And that kind of says something to me. How can I be released from the world? Only by the blood. When mm. Jesus shed, when Jesus said, I'm going to shed blood on Egypt now. I sent you locusts. I sent you uh, uh, um, flies, gnats, darkness. I yes. sent you, I, I killed your li lives up. I'm going to, I'm going to shed, I'm going to shed blood now on your firstborns. One, on. Once he shed blood, that drove Pharaoh out. And that's a symbol of the blood of Jesus because um, in Exodus, um, wrote down right here, in Exodus 13, he said, mm -hmm. he said, now listen, this is, he said, oh, oh, oh wait, let's go right here. So after all the plagues, and he said, I want my children to be free. He, uh, uh, and he sent all these plagues. He said, listen, Moses, I have one last play. I sent all those <laughs> uh, diseases. I sent yep. all those plagues for a certain reason. I sent them to show your children what I, the, the miraculous power I did for you. So the miracles were for future to show your children and to and to spread my fame spread my name just how Gideon you know he told Gideon I'm going to send you and defeat them with 300 people instead of 30,000 instead of 10,000 I'm going to defeat them with 300 to show them my great name mm -hmm. he, oh, he told me he told he told Moses he said I'm sending you all these plagues not because he's going to let you go he said this last plague check us out vert exodus 11 he says now the Lord said to Moses, check us out. He knew what he knew what was going to move Pharaoh's heart, mm -hmm. which Pharaoh represents um, uh, the devil. Um, Come on, somebody. Josh, uh, Josh Vargas always loves that. You know, in Egypt is the world. He, just, mm -hmm. he said, check us out. I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh on, and on Egypt. After that, he will let you go. There was on, one somebody. more thing. There was one trick in the bag God had, and it was blood. It was the shedding yes, of the blood. That was it. And the only thing to Set move Pharaoh's free. heart was to shed the blood. If you plead the blood of Jesus, you remind Satan of who's in charge, and you move Satan out of the way. You are free to worship. You were mm -hmm. like Lewis said earlier, Gerard said it also. Are you in church, but not free to worship? So, right. so check this out. Now in chapter 12, it, 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 Ooh. the blood drove Pharaoh out That's good, Jerry. from your life. That's real good. Look, at, look at chapter 12. Now chapter 12, I need bifocals chapter 12, verse, um, verse 22. Now take a branch of hyssop, dip it in some blood, mm. go slaughter mm. a lamb. The mm. blood also, I'll check this out. Hold on. Let me read it first. I get so excited. Um, yes. No, this uh, is good. It's real good. Uh, go slaughter a lamb, dip it in a bunch of hyssop branches, put some blood on the top and both sides of your door frame. Come on. N not one of you shall um, leave your house. Don't leave your house till morning. He mm. said, when the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians to, to, to drive Pharaoh out, 
passing. with the blood. Now, what does the blood do for you? Like Gerard just said, he set, he, he, he set us up. He said, um, um, he said, he said, I will strike down the Egyptians, but when I see the blood on the top and the sides of the door flame, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? I will pass over the doorway. Uh -huh. He will not per permit Ooh. the destroyer to uh. enter your households or to strike you down. When you like, we, like what Gerard just said, when you plead the blood of Jesus, the, blood. the only thing that moved Pharaoh was the blood. And the Come only on, thing that survive. protected the house of Israel was the blood. And, on, and you survive. know, I, I read this a couple of days ago. I'm not a theologian. I just tripped over this. This is, this is, this is not because I'm smart. I was reading John and it said, Jesus died on the Passover. And mm. they called this, they called this week when the devil passed over the houses with the blood on, they called that week the Passover. And what Gerard said early, uh, the day of preparation, God was preparing to be a lamb of God for us. And don't you find it ironic that the, that God would slap the devil in the face when the Come devil on. thought he was going to destroy Israel with the blood. Come on. He died on the same, Jesus died on the same week that he saved the Israelites hundreds of years beforehand. Jesus died on the same Passover week. He saved Israel with that blood. And then nowadays, Jesus Christ is saving the world with his blood. If you mm. plead the blood of blood. Jesus, he destroyed death on the cross. He proved to Satan. He rose up again and said, by my blood, Death has no authority over me. It has no mastery over me. Death cannot, Satan has no authority. And I am, I am the, the sacrifice. I want my people to come. But the same blood he used hundreds of years ago, the same blood he shed on the cross to save the world. Mm. And um, I found a, one more little tidbit. I'm not smart. I'm really not. I just read this literally a couple days ago. No, this is good. Go on. Keep so, going. so in Exodus, he said to what? He said, what kind of branches did he say to dip? He said the, the hyssop branch, right? The hyssop mm -hmm. branch. Check out what it says in, check out what it says in, um, in John. He says, and Jesus said, what? I am thirsty. They uh, took a hyssop branch. Wow. They dipped it in vinegar and gave them. So the devil thought, I'm about to win here. I'm right. about to stick it to Jesus. The oh, same so hyssop branches here. that they pleaded the blood and that saved. Now, now I'm about to destroy Christ. I'm going to mock him with the same hyssop branch. That's just a little tad side note that I saw. I'm like crazy. They use the same hyssop branch. But God, once again, with the only by the, like, like what Gerard said, the blood they plead. I like that word. They pleaded the Plead. blood. Yes. So only so by good. the blood. It's really good. Wow. Sorry. It was just a thought. I, I, I ran off. No, this pieces. is good. Could I go, Lou? Hey, Amen. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. As he was talking, I, 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 I was thinking about how he moved us from the old covenant to the new. Remember when he says, when he destroyed his temple mm. and build it back up again. And they were yeah. offended, but they could not discern that he was talking about the temple of his body. Mm. Okay. Jeremy brought up something powerful. The same time he tried to wipe him out in Israel, right? The same mm. week Christ died and was resurrected and raised. Satan always knew that Christ was going to come through that lineage. He always tried to corrupt mm. the seed of man, mm. even with the fallen angels laying with women. He always wanted to corrupt the seed of man. He always was trying to kill the children of Israel with Pharaoh. He used Pharaoh to kill him, yep. destroy all the boys. He was scared of it. He was scared of mm. Christ coming because he knew that he would set us free. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Understand that when Christ died, the temple was torn. The veil was torn, mm -hmm. which signified to us that the Amen. way into the holies of holies Amen. Come on. was Amen. made for us. Amen. Also, the birth of the new church. Listen, check this out. I want you to see this. John chapter 19, verse 34. And it says, but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side and there came out blood and water. What happens mm. when a woman gives birth? What comes out? Wow. Come on. Blood yeah, and water. Right it there. was the birth of the new church. <laughs> the new church, the new covenant was birth. Let me get this mm, in Hebrews. Let's go. The word. They, they didn't hear you. Say it again. They didn't hear you. Say it again. The new church was birthed. Blood and water flowed forth out of his side, out of his body. 
It was the birth of the new church. He birthed something new. Check this out in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19. Freedom. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. The Mm -hmm. reason that's relevant is these men had to be extremely careful before they went into the presence of God. But we don't have to walk on eggshells before we go into the presence of God because of the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The blood of Jesus sanctifies us. There's nothing you can do. It's the blood of Jesus that sanctifies you and gives you access to the most holy God in the holy place without fear. Without mm-hmm. being timid, it says, "Come boldly." Amen. You can come with boldness now. That's right. I just want to share something before I move on. Sanctification is oh. given to you by the blood of Jesus, but consecration is your responsibility. Mm, that's good. Hmm. Sanctification Wait, is God. Hey. Hey. Consecration is your responsibility. It is your responsibility to be like consecrated to a holy God. Consecrate yourself. Separate yourself. Mm. Let yourself be set apart for God, so that He can work in you, so that He can use you. More Amen. spirit, more knowledge in the word of God, more fellowship, more Amen. understanding of Jesus Christ, more understanding of the cross. Amen. Less of Amen. you, less flesh, less sin, less world. Consecration is your responsibility. He sanctified you, but you need to be consecrated to him. Praise mm. God. That's good right and it there. says, listen, therefore have boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us. Come on, somebody. Amen. Through the veil, that is to say his flesh. The veil, his flesh represent the veil, and it was torn. torn. All right, understand this. His flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart Mm -hmm. and full of assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. There's that word again. Conscience again. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, between chapter 9 and 10, you'll you'll see conscience over and over over and over and over of Hebrews. Okay, from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water, let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and unto good works. Gotcha. He tore the veil. Can't wait. He made the way for us to enter into God's presence. Yes, Lord. We have access to God. We don't need anybody to go to God for us. Listen, there's nothing wrong with asking people to pray for you. Praise God. That's a beautiful thing. We should Mm -hmm. do that. We should pray for one another. We should intercede for one another. We should be doing spiritual warfare. I will hope that all of you, when you pray, pray, listen, you need to write down some names of some people that God puts on your heart. It ain't religious to do that. Write down some names. And when you get on your knees in the secret place, pray for some people. Amen. Go to spiritual warfare and pray for some people, pray for some ministries, pray for some marriages, because let me tell you something, the witches and the warlocks, they're, they're doing sacrifices and, and, and spells and curses against marriages. That's right. Yep. They're coming against marriages. They're coming against ministries. They're coming against families. <clears throat> but believers aren't warring, though. You ain't doing your part. You need to do your part. Amen. Listen, it's OK for people to pray for you. But I just want to encourage you all tonight. You can pray for yourself. Amen. That's right. God Amen. has given you access. Praise God. You have access and authority yes. given to you by the blood of Jesus Christ the blood. and the Holy Ghost. Amen. You can go boldly to the throne of grace. You can enter oh, into the Amen. holies of holies. Yes. This ain't Catholic. Shut Listen, we life. ain't Catholics around here. I don't need that's a life. And oh, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. He can't forgive your sins. He <laughs> he, he he on his way to hell himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it the hurts the Catholic, call no it hurts man, the Catholic religion. That's right. The word says, "Call no man, Father." We have one Father, but our heavenly Father. That's right. On, so Hallelujah. My, listen, Preach. he can't listen. He he in trouble himself. He mm. needs to be born again. Listen, right. you don't need anybody. <laughs> right, right. You can go both. Let me shut up. I'm causing trouble. I can no. tell because Lewis is laughing. Yeah, you start in trouble. Let me let me help you out. <laughs> yeah, come on, Lou. Go ahead. No, no I, <laughs> I, up a little bit. No, no, the Holy Spirit dropped this verse in me. I, I didn't have it premeditated. I, I just um, come I was on. gonna say it earlier. I think it was Jeremy talking, but now then Gerard just confirmed it when he said Amen. waver. You, you said the word waver, and it was already set up right here in James um one, chap. Let me start with chapter six, and this come is on, talking somebody. about when as we're speaking about um pleading the blood and just just the blood. So we're, right now we're just talking about you know the power in the blood and pleading the blood of Jesus, and so we got have our conscience washed. And just trusting in his blood. But look what it says. I, I, I sense like this is what the Lord is saying. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. For he who doubts is mm. like a wave of the sea driven and okay. tossed by the wind. For let no man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all yes. his ways. 
Yes. So you, you see, it's saying you got to ask in faith. So when you're talking mm. about the blood of Jesus, you got to have faith when you let that word as it's coming out your mouth. It's not by feelings. It's not about what you're going through, because when you're getting attacked by the enemy, it don't feel good. But you got to trust in the mm. blood of Jesus Christ. That's and if good. you feel like you have unbelief and you can't even open your mouth, how does faith come? Get back into them scriptures and faith comes by hearing and hearing, hearing the, word of, the word of God. So when you start to get it, by the time you get done reading, you just, you'll start to say, I plead the blood of Jesus and you'll yeah. believe it because look what it says here. You could plead the blood, but if you don't believe it, it says you could receive nothing from me. That's what God is saying. You can't get Amen. nothing unless mm. you believe with your whole entire heart. Wow. You know, so that's another um, topic to, to just, it's just a time to examine ourselves and see if I'm not receiving from God, do I truly yeah. believe what I'm saying? Do I truly believe what I'm reading? If not, Holy Spirit, help me. I want I want to believe. Help me to get rid of unbelief. Help me yeah. to get rid of doubt. You know, mm. fasting and praying is a great thing to do. You know, jumping into the scriptures is a great thing. There's solutions. There's answers. There's always a way out with God. Amen. Uh, I mean, you mentioned it twice, yeah. so I'm just going to say something about that. Um, I was reading the um, I was reading the um, the um, the communion. You know, okay. where where Jesus said, mm. where uh, Paul said, this is how to take communion correctly. Yes. And, I got to just say now, because uh, you said it twice about not living right. He even says, he says, uh, um, for whenever you eat of the bread and drink of his cup, the blood, you, you proclaim the Lord, you're, you're proclaiming the Lord's uh, uh, death till he comes. But he says, if you take it and you don't mean it, you're, 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 you're lying about the cross. Mm. He, sa he, he says, don't lie about Jesus. You know, don't lie about his blood. He, he took it seriously. Check this out. He said for anyone, this is crazy. Verse uh, 1 Corinthians 11, 29. That's what Lou said. A man ought to examine himself uh -huh. before he eats the bread or drinks the cup. That's how serious God's word. You can't mock the cross. That's he right. died. It's a cup. He, he died. He, he, he looked. And then he said, he died for us. He became the sacrifice. He became the curse. The Bible even says, Cursed is anyone who dies on a tree. We're all under a curse under the law because we knew we could not keep the law. He became a curse for us. You you take the um you take the blood not seriously. Uh -huh. He says this, check this out. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep because you don't take the blood of Jesus seriously. You don't Amen. take the That's cross right. seriously. He died for us, he became a curse. Our Lord hung on a tree. He died for us. He could have, I heard someone say this. This is not, this is not a thought of mine. He said, why didn't God just, just decide to, why didn't he, he could have, he could have chose, you know, there might be someone out there suffering right now. You know, mm -hmm. all of us suffered. You might be going through a time of your life of suffering and, and you think God just died. He could have checked this out. He could have died easily. He could have chosen to be stabbed, head cut off an easy death. But he chose to endure suffering, so he knew mm -hmm. he knew what you were going to go through, and 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 he he uh, uh, he he can he can equate with your pain. That's so right. Jesus, Amen. just just how he suffered, he he knows that you can go through something. It was twenty four hours or more of complete. I don't I don't even know what happened. I mean, like yeah. whips of barbs. And Matt, I mean, I have a thorn bush in my front yard. I got pricked by it. And I'm like, I hate this tree so much. I freaking hate. I was so mad. And then, you know, Jesus said to me, God said to me, the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, keep the bush. It reminds you what I went through. Come on. I had wow. a crown. I had a, a crown. It was, Jesus. it was a, it was a, he said, I had a crown of thorns. I got pricked. I'm not even joking. If they're, they're barbs about this big, wow. I ran into it. I almost cussed the day I even, oh my Lord. Right. I said, Lord, keep my mouth from, from sinning. <laughs> Come um, on. <laughs> uh, and he said, he said, you know why I suffered? So I can relate to when you suffer. So you can handle the suffering you're going through for years. I went through a couple of days of hell on earth that mm. nobody can endure. You can, you can endure pain less than that. I can relate with you. I, I can give you grace. I will see you through it. And, um, that's our God. Amen. That's our God who went through pain for us. So when we go through pain, he can relate with that. No, that's good. Why don't you think he went through an easier death? The same way why he puts us through painful situations. He knows we can handle it because Ooh. he handled it. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Hey, man, you know, some of you might be just going, I don't know if you have something to say, Brother Gerard. 
I, I, I did actually. I wanted to build a little bit on community because communion. I don't think a lot of believers necessarily understand the power and seriousness of communion. Some do, some don't. Communion, just like Jeremy said, is it, it can be if you play games, if you don't understand what you're doing, number one. Mm-hmm. But it, it comes from different angles. I, I just want to build on some of it a little bit, if that's all right. Definitely. So it goes First Corinthians chapter 11, because we need teaching as believers. We don't always need people to, that's right. to preach. Too many of us have been getting preached to for 50 years, 20 years, but we need some teaching here. So mm-hmm. we're going to build on communion a little bit. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, because communion is very powerful. I actually told Lewis the, uh, like a day or two ago, wasn't it, Lou? Where yeah. I was talking to you about Some communion, about- where the Amen. Lord says, do this Amen. as often as you can in yeah, remembrance yeah. of me. Whoa. I don't need to wait for church. I'm going to listen. Yeah, I'm same a, word. I, I told him I'm wow. going to go get me some stuff and I'm going to take communion every day. Amen. Wow. Why not? Wow. Who says I can't? He says, do it as often not as, as you one. can remember. in remembrance of me. But listen, there's a trick here. I want you to see it's not a trick, but there's some hidden things here that we need to build on. Check this out. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. But I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. I, I wish more pastors would do that. Mm. Whatever you receive from God, give to the people. That Come the on. Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken mm. for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also, he took the cup. And when he had sup, saying, this is the cup. This is the New Testament in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Mm. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wow. Wherefore, whoever shall drink, eat this bread and drink this cup, of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the blood and of of the body and of the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For Mm. he that eateth drinketh unworthily, he that drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. That word right there is key. Understand, Mm. it says not discerning the Lord's body. First of all, are you abiding in Christ? Mm, When he says, examine yourself, see if you're still in the faith. Make sure that you're still in the faith. Make sure that you're still abiding in Christ and you're Mm. walking with him. But understand, it says discerning the Lord's body. When I eat this bread, I'm looking at his body on the cross and I'm understanding that it was broken for me. Mm. I'm understanding that by his stripes, I am healed. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I understand that when I drink that blood, I'm forgiven of my sins. Amen. I have a new testament, every testament, covenant, everything that we just talked about yeah. because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Look, this is why he says they drink it unworthily, not discerning the Lord's body. Mm. For this cause, many are weak, sickly among you, wow. and many fall asleep. How many of you know you can be healed by taking uh, communion properly? Mm hmm. Amen. If you take communion properly, discerning the Lord's body that it was broken for you, you can be healed. But he says, this is why many of you are sick and weak, mm. because you're not discerning the Lord's body that it was broken for you, that there's healing on the cross. There's not just forgiveness of That's sin. Right. There's not just freedom from sin. Healing. But there is healing for you when you take communion properly, when you observe the Lord's body, when you acknowledge it, when you discern it, when you look and say, look, it was broken Mm-mm. for me. By his stripes, I I am healed. But notice what it says. It says, for this cause, many of you are weak, sickly among you, and many Uh, sleep. I want you to say sleep. See, believers don't die. We sleep. Ah, come on. We don't die. Believers don't die. They sleep. Mm. Praise God. We don't die. We have eternal life. Wake up. But listen, understand this right here discern the lord's body there's healing in communion mm. i was just talking to lewis about this like not a day or two ago right did you not it was yesterday it was yesterday you know honestly right. communion communion was on my it was a discussion yesterday with somebody else and mm. we should take some tomorrow it. no yo know, i, I it, this is uh, the holy spirit 100 i haven't thought about community i'm not sure about you guys i and then all of a sudden yesterday yesterday and then you guys a couple of days ago God is speaking still. He's he's one spirit. Amen. It's huge. Wow. Wow. You should take some tomorrow. Praise God. Let's do it. Yeah. House church yeah. Tuesday. Commun- yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Tomorrow. Yo, can go. I tap in? Can I? Yeah, yeah. Tap in, please. Can I tap into that a little bit? Man. Go ahead. You know, I do. Um, you know, I just, you know, I do want to reiterate. I love. Um, well, you know what? It, 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 I just want to show God's love here. Real. It, 
real quick and Praise the God. importance of what Gerard said about the uh, communion. We don't take it seriously. Like, like God gave his all for us. And it That's reminded right. me, on. I wrote it down. It, it reminded me of, this, of, of what I wrote down. I wondered why David was so confident in killing the giant. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, where did his confidence come from? He, he, it wasn't in his strength. It wasn't in his workout ethic. Mm. It wasn't in his, uh, you That's know, right. I, I don't know his past or, 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 or lineage. He was a shepherd boy. Like, like Gerard always says, he was a shepherd boy. Yes. Under a tree. Huh. How did he, how did he even learn? <laughs> how did he even learn the instrument? Right. I think uh, we were talking about a couple of days ago, me and Gerard, mm, like, on, how did he even learn the harp? Mm. I mean, I mean, <laughs> those kind of things you got to think about. Like, you know, I mean, this man just loved Christ. I wondered, and then God gave me two things. He said, um, how was he, how was he uh, uh, um, um, uh, uh, confident to kill the giant? And I wrote down, he, he, was, he, was, he was circumcised. And circumcised means I, I shed blood for Christ. Uh, I shed blood to say to Christ, I am his. And so that was an action between, from David to God. I shed blood for And then you know what he knew? He said, God, if I shed blood for you, I'm going to do my part and you're going to do your part. Just how the people, just how Moses crossed the Red Sea, just how Joshua crossed the uh, uh, Jordan, just how people he saw uh, before him. When he killed the giant, he said, I'm circumcised too. I made a commitment. I made a covenant with God and he's going to do his part. And look yes. at, so that was part one that God gave me. He said, he said, he said, David made a covenant with God. And then Praise God, God. And he said, I am yours. And, and God upheld his, um, God upheld his end. And then God brought it to another. So the, here's, here's God's love. He said, God knew that even though you're circumcised, look at the children of Israel. They were all circumcised. Yes. And yet they believed mm. in the bells yet. They Come always uh, right. reach. So they were, they shed the blood. <clears throat> Jesus, Jesus says, uh, Jesus said, knowing that you could be circumcised, knowing that, that you could be committed to me. And you will still sin, and and, and, and it, fall, fall away. This is what Jesus did then. So David, David uh, uh, did a covenant from David to God. Now, now God said, God said number two. He said, now I'm going to shed my blood and do a covenant hmm. from from me to you, knowing that your word means nothing. You're going to die. You could be circumcised. Your word means nothing. Now I'm going to just I'm going to whoop, I'm going to one up on you. I'm going to one up you. Mm -hmm. You circumcised yourself for me. You gave me a covenant, but you can't keep your word. Most of read the Bible. Most of Israel were sinners. They rejected God. They served other gods. That's why God had them on judgment. That's why the whole time. That's why most of them did not even enter the promised land. And this is God's love right here. He, he shed a blood. He shed a, a, a covenant and said, now I'm going to, I'm going to prove my love to you. Mm. David, you, you shed your blood for me, David, wow. you showed me that you're committed to me and I came through for you, <laughs> but, but I know that all of the world doesn't keep their word. Even if they, even if they get circumcised, and they shed blood. He said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shed my blood for you and I'm going to always be your God. You're going to always be my people. I'm not going to count on you to shed your blood for me. I'm mm. going to shed my blood for you because you can't keep your word. So I always wondered, how was David so confident? Because he kept his word. He kept his covenant and he expected God to do the rest. But this is how much God loves us. He said, I, I know that you can't keep your word. I'm going to be and I check out what Hebrews mm. eight says. He said, I am making a new covenant. No longer do you have to be circumcised. No longer do you have to shed your blood for me. I'm going to prove to you how much I love you. I'm going to, I will make a new covenant. In this new covenant, I will make with, with the house of Israel. After the time, I will put my laws in, and I will put write them in their heart. Check, this out. check, check God's heart. Mm. I will be their God. They shall be my people. And they will be my people. No longer will a man teach his neighbor or a man say, know the Lord, because they will all, they will all know me. It just, it just popped up. Maybe I'm, 
saying, saying, saying it too confusing, but David committed to God with circumcision. God knew that most of Israel would fail. God said, I'm going to be your, <clears throat> he, he, he won up to him and said, I'm going to shed my blood for you. And I'm never going to take <clears throat> my word back from, from mm, you, I'm going to always be there for you. You might not be there for, you might be circumcised. Like what, like someone said it earlier, circumcision of your heart or of just of your body. Um, your heart. Praise God. And, and he said, you may not be there for me, but I'm going to die for you. Like what Lou said earlier, I'm going to die for you proving that I love you proving that I will never, I will be your God. If you want to be my people, you can, but I'm going to put it sums it up right here. He put the love in his court. Mm. He didn't wait for us to get circumcised. He said, whether you love me or not, I'm going to make a blood covenant with you. And that's why David was so confident with his, with his, um, with his, with his defeat of the giant. He said, I made my covenant by circumcising myself. My God is going to hold up his end. And, and you know what? That was prophetic because God did hold up his end and God died. Right. Mm, Praise God. On. Hey, man, we just want to acknowledge a few of you in the comment section. We see you, Eric, uh, Tori. We see everyone yes, in here. Aaron, God bless you. Hope, bless hope the Lord is. We see the Lord doing so many things in, in your life. We saw the testimony that you gave a couple of days ago. Jolene, everybody in here, praise the Lord. We're going to open up the Zoom pretty soon. I'm going to put all the information on the bottom. And um, you can tap in for some prayer and questions. Prayer and questions. Praise not God. not not That's another, it. you know, teaching. I'm going to have to kick some of you out. We're going to do prayer and questions. But let's just jump to um, John six real quick. Right. I'm just going to be jumping around to a couple to a couple verses here. Come on. It says, so Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, Amen. you cannot have eternal life within you. Hmm. It, it already sounds confusing. Like, what's it called? Like, uh, like cannibalism, right? Like you eat and like flesh and all that. But anyone who eats of my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise that person on the last day. 55 says, for my flesh is true, is true food. And my blood is true drink. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. You know, so now at, at this point, his, his disciples are like, yo, like Jesus is bugging out. Like, how are we going to drink your blood and like, you know, mm -hmm. eat your body? And then he says, I live because of the living father who sent me in the same way. Anyone who feeds on me will live because of me. And then he goes on to say, I'm the, I'm, I'm the true bread. You know, basically what, what Christ was saying, I'm just trying to get somewhere real quick. What, what Christ was basically saying is you, you got to feast off of me. You got to become one with me. You know, he wasn't literally talking about drinking his blood and eating his fingernails and his toes. He was like, you got to become one with me. You got to deny yourself, take up the cross and follow after me. In other words, and, and look what it says in verse 66, because in verse 66, it says this. And you notice how I noticed this before. It says John 6, 6, 6. Mm. And it says at this point, many of his disciples turned away and deserted him. They left him. The moment he's talking about now, you got to become one with me. You got to drink my blood. You got to you got to eat of my body. You got to become nice. just one. One as I am. You got to feast off of me. You don't feast off off the off of the things in this world. Feast off of me and and deny yourself. Take up the cross. What did they do? I'm saying he didn't say those words in those verses. But like when you put it in context and, and you look at it, he's saying just feast off of me. And they thought he was crazy. And what did they do? That, that always catches me right there. And uh, it says six, six, six. Oh and many my. of them turned away, you know, because Christ yeah. paid the ultimate price on the cross. You know, when he when he shed his blood, you better believe it. Many people say, I want the anointing or I want the power of God. And we discussed this a couple of weeks ago. If you want more of God, he wants more of you, you know, yes. and That's that requires yeah. more time with him because he, he deserves it all. So a lot of times like that, people, they, they run away from God and they say there's too many rules here. God's grace covers me. I'm OK. You know, he's saying you need to drink of my blood, become one with me, you know, because I shed my blood for you. And another thing I, I just want to I'm throw in real quick before somebody else goes it, it's in Mark 836. As I was just reading earlier, you know how some people say, um, like, oh, only if I get this money, only if I have a wife or like I, I'll be doing better. Like I'm, I'm in mm. depression. I, I need this. It's mm. like you're looking for, for something to set you free. You know, only the blood of Jesus could, could set us free. Um, obtaining materialistic possessions will only give us a, a counterfeit joy. It gives us a counterfeit peace. 
you know, but only the blood could set us free. Because what does it say in Mark 8, 36? It says you could gain the whole world. Mm. You can get everything. You're going to be happy. Hey, if you if somebody gives me a million dollars and a boat today, I'm going to be real happy. I'll take it. But, but I know it's not going to give me joy. And the, what is the Bible? So you could gain all that stuff and lose your soul. Only true freedom, true peace, not the counterfeit stuff that the world talks about. Not, not, we're not talking about happiness. We're talking about joy. We're talking about supernatural Amen. peace. When you're going through hell on earth and you can still tap into the peace of the Holy Spirit. All that comes through the blood of Jesus Christ. So wow. tap into the blood. Amen. That sets you Amen. free. Yeah, amen, amen. You know, as I, I was just meditating on this, I was amen. meditating on the love and the goodness of God and also understanding. I try to, I do my best to really meditate on, on, on how vast and deep God is and the things of God are. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really hard for our mind to comprehend. And because some wonder why God created man, knowing that man would do what they would do. He, 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 he can never learn anything new. He knew that we would sin. He knew that we would fall, but yet he created us anyway. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I could come up with in my mind is I suppose it's the same reason why people have children. It's just love. Mm. Because we have children knowing that one day those kids will rebel. Mm. At some point, they will be disrespectful. At some point, they won't always honor you. They won't always listen to you. He created us knowing that we will fall, that we will sin. But in his love, he created us anyways. And rather than give up on us in the garden, he said, no, I'm going to work this thing out. Mm. I'm going to work this out. And he put his mm. plan in motion. I just want to read some Isaiah 53 real quick. I feel led to read, read this, Isaiah 53. And it's talking about Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm. And it says, he has no form, no comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He was beaten so badly, we couldn't even tell he was a man anymore. Oh. His body was so destroyed, it was so marred. You couldn't even tell it was a man anymore. He is despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. We hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. All your griefs and sorrows were laid upon him. Mm -hmm. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was Amen. bruised for our iniquities. Amen. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Mm. Jesus Christ was not only beaten and punished, but also the weight and guilt mm. of all our sin crushed him Jesus. in that one spot. It crushed that body in that one spot. There was weight. That's why there was an earthquake and the veil was torn mm. and it's torn from the top to the bottom because there was so much sin in one spot. When he finally mm. gave up the ghost, when he finally let it go with so much sin in one spot. And for the first time, he experienced separation from the, from the heavenly father. He had never experienced that. That's why he said, Father, why have you forsaken me? Right. It wasn't because he was on the cross, but it was because sin was sin. laid on him and he was separated from God. It wasn't right. even the pain, the punishment. It wasn't even, it was being separated from God. That was worse than what he was suffering. That separation, mm. that fellowship from the heavenly father, because sin separates us from God. Understand right. it says he who knew no sin became sin he was separated from God in that moment. God bruised him. God punished him. We often say they crucified him. Isaiah 53 mm. said God did it. Mm. Isaiah 53 says that God oversaw the destruction of his own son. He destroyed his own son so that you and I can be free. Jesus. That's love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's yeah. love. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Mm. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. Look at that. He didn't even complain. Jesus. He didn't even complain. Powerful. He didn't try to talk his way out of it. As a, as, a, as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. Mm -hmm. He didn't even complain. He That's went right. willingly. It says Jesus. he showed his love that he died while we were yet sinners, mm -hmm. while we were yet his enemies, so that he can reconcile us back to him. Mm. Close fellowship, relationship. I'm no longer his enemy. 
I'm his child. I'm no mm -hmm. longer a slave to sin. I'm a slave to righteousness. Amen. I'm free in Jesus' name. Be Amen. free. Amen. Understand, Amen. discern the Lord's body on that cross. Plead the blood, like Jeremy said. Yeah. Apply the blood of Jesus over your mind, over your life. Amen. Do spiritual warfare. Use the blood. Use the word the of blood. God, which is That's the sword right. of the spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in tongues. La la Hallelujah. Yeah. Edify right. yourself. Edify yourself. Build you don't need, yourself no, you don't need no interpreter and all that. Don't let, no. It's not even No, scribble. no. It's for edification. Edify yourself. That's right. I was struggling yesterday in the flesh. Listen, I was struggling. The enemy was trying to bombard me and attack my mind. This is what he does. He always does it every time we're about to go to the streets and, and, and whatever else when he wants me not to do something that yep. God told us to do. But, you know, I began to pray in the Holy Spirit. Come on. And after one minute, by the time I was released, I was free. The enemy packed up his toys and he went on. And he moved on. Oh, yeah, we saw him praying. It he always works. On. He moved on. Hey, yeah. Amen. That's all another topic we're going to touch on. Should all believers pray in tongues? Yes, you should. And don't, don't bring up that scripture that says, oh, one speaks in tongues. And that's out of context. Every believer has, has God, God, that's a gift that you have. If somebody got a free gift for me, I, I want that gift. But then you have a supernatural gift of speaking in tongues. We could talk about that a whole different time. But okay. anyways, the, line, the lines are open right now. The, uh, all the Zoom information is right there. I pinned it on the bottom. Come uh, in. Prayer, prayer and questions only, just like it says in, in the in the. In the, in the, in the in, if you want to talk to us, you could just uh, call, uh, hit us on Facebook Messenger, call our Facebook Messenger, or text us through Facebook Messenger. Amen. This whole purpose of this is for prayer and questions, and if not, Amen. you know, respectfully, I just have to cut it short. But we love all of you. We just want to, you know, just marinate whatever God's been speaking to you through this. Just just let it soak in. Amen. Amen. You know, I. I uh, a scripture came to me earlier when I was uh, when Gerard was even talking about before he started talking about I was just thinking about like you know how it says Jesus it said his sweat was almost like blood was it literally like blood though because it was it actual blood it says it was like blood it was dripping like blood you see what I'm saying but 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 the whole thing was that's how stressed out he was because he, he he had like he was stressed out the, the his sweat was dripping fast as blood because he knew that he was going to be separated from the father mm. you know that, that just made me look at to, to like what Jeremy's been talking about, the presence. Like, am I, am I that desperate for the presence? Jesus didn't want to go one second without the presence of his father. Yeah. You know, yeah. Lord, help us get there. Lord, help us all that's, that's watching to, to get yeah. hungry for your presence, Lord. You know, when you're hungry for the presence of the Lord, you don't have the time to, to think about sin. You're like, what is sin? I want to get to that level like Jesus. You know, help, help me, Lord. Yeah. I know I'm not perfect like Jesus, but help me to. To just pr practice your presence throughout the day. I don't have to wait till I get into my prayer closet. I can practice the presence of God when I'm driving, or am I listening to music all the time, or I'm always trying to rap, or am I thinking about my bills or my future, or am I just yeah. being still and saying, "Wow, am I looking at Calvary? Thank you for the blood, Jesus." Yeah. Yeah. It's that simple. But do we do it? And I promise yeah. you, if you do it, and I'm speaking to myself, you're always blessed. Like, if, like, like if I cut this camera off now and I just sit here and I think about Calvary for five mm. minutes. I leave this room edified. I'm like, wow, like it's, mm -hmm. it's almost like you're untouchable by the blood of Jesus Christ because no Amen. devil, no demon could touch you unless the Lord allows it to yeah. happen. Yeah. yeah. He abides in the praises. Are, so the, yeah, the minute you open your mouth, the Lord's is presence. Yeah. You know, when it says in Revelation that 24 hours a day, there's praise. So mm -hmm. where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom, but there's also, there's also music happening. Every yeah. time there was a... Even when prophets prophesied, they said, bring me a harpist. So like uh -huh. when Saul became king, he prophesied with, with um, music. When David set the church up in the, in the ark, uh, uh, um, he said, and the musicians prophesied. Every time there was, it drove out demons of salt, music drove, I, I mean, so I, what Louis brought up, what Lou brought up again with the presence and, and what Gerard brought up with how much he loves to be with us. It, it, that's what the whole, uh, uh, um, that's the whole goal of the cross was. He says, how can I get like, right. said earlier, yeah, yeah. how can I get back and how yes. can I get back into relationship yeah, amen. at yes. the garden? That's the whole, that was his whole thing. How can that I get it. back to it. how it first was in the garden? Yeah. How can I get access since separated him uh, through Adam? And now I have to somehow get back in their lives. He said, the only way to do that, is to shed my own blood through one man's sin and one man's um, Amen. one man's suffering. Did did Jesus come back in our 
in our in our lives. And that's the, my favorite thing about the cross is he chose. He said, he said, I don't want this relationship. Wow. I don't want the high priest coming to me. Where are my people? I want a one on one relationship. Where are my people? Just like the Levites, the Levites were the only one who had to consecrate themselves and carry the ark, the presence of God. God said, now you're all Levites. All you have to do, like what Gerard said earlier, <laughs> all you have to do, and that's a good word. All you have to do now, your job is what? What did he say earlier? Your job consecration. is consecration. consecration. Amen. And good. before David said, everyone get away from the ark. We can dance around it, but the only people who could touch the ark are the, are the and on. that's my favorite thing Amen. of the, my, my favorite thing of the cross is Jesus saying, you have, like Gerard said, he had, um, he, he, he tore the veil in two. He became the high two things he did for us. He became the high priest and he made yes. us Kings. He yes. became the high priest. So we can go in instead of the high priest. And I love that. God loved us so much. He's like, how can I get into relationship again with my people? I'm going to make them priests. I'm going to tear, I'm going to tear the holies, uh, the, the holies of holies. And, 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 um, the only way to get to the presence now is to consecrate yourself and say, Lord, you are my high priest and I'm your priest. I can come directly to you now. Amen. And that's God. That's his own. That's his only goal from the very beginning from Adam and Eve was to be in relationship with us. And now he did it through his blood again. Amen. It's, 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 it's all about, it's, it's all about the condition of one's heart. Your, your heart matters. Many of you have a heart condition. What do I mean? We can worship all we want. We could sing and we could say all these words, but he says, you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Mm. So are you consecrated like Jeremy just got done saying? Right. What is the condition of your heart? Examine mm. yourself. Consec ask yourself, are the things that you're doing, uh, the things you did today, the things you're going to do after this podcast goes off, is it going to help you draw closer to God or is it going to take you further away from it? Okay, we got somebody may, here. It may not even necessarily be sin, but if it's not bringing you closer to God, it doesn't matter. Let me just read these quick three verses really quick. This is what David understood, and we should all pray this. Let me read these quick verses. Blessing, sister. Hold on one minute. Created me a clean heart, O oh God, and renewing mm -hmm. me a, a, the a right spirit within me. Mm -hmm. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Amen. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with thy uh -huh. free spirit. Some of you need the joy of being saved back. Some of you aren't even happy that you're saved anymore. Mm. You need the joy of your salvation to return. Amen. You need the joy of your salvation to come back. Maybe you need to allow the Holy Spirit to take you on a walk down mm. memory lane and remember where you were when you were in the world without God and without hope. Ask God to create in you a new heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Maria, praise God. Are you on, sister? She's, um, she's about to unmute herself. Come fellowship with us. Yes, I'm here. Praise God. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the Kingdom Minds podcast. What would welcome. you like prayer for? Do you have a question? Uh, you could just pray for me, my family. Um, my, so, um, I want to pray for my kids' salvation and my praise husband. God. Amen. Okay, praise God. Mm. My husband's incarcerated right now. So we're praying that, um, you know, if it's God's will for him to be released sooner than what he was sentenced and First, so he can come out here and do God's will. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. What's his name? His name's Juan. Juan or Quan? Juan. Juan. Like San Juan. Yeah. Okay. Juan. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write yeah. that down. I'm, I'm. I'm gonna pray for him more after this. So you said you want to believe. You want prayer for your kid's salvation, your husband's salvation, and his release as well. Yes. Amen. Okay. Amen. Well, yes. praise God. Amen. Well, for your kids, we need to pray that uh, um, Second Corinthians chapter four says this. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid for them that are lost and whom the God of this world has blinded their minds of them which believe not. We need to pray that the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ would reach them and the blindness are removed. Amen. That's what we need to pray for all those that are lost, because if a person is lost, blind or deceived, it is only because Satan is blinding them. So we're going to pray for that. 
right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, Lord yes, we pray Lord. that our children's eyes would be open to the truth, to the light of your glorious gospel, yes, Father, that they will receive you, Lord. I pray right now that your Holy Spirit will touch their minds and hearts wherever they are, convict yes. them, draw them unto you. It is only you that draws us to you, Father. So I pray that you will draw them, Father, and show them the need yes, that they need to yes, repent Jesus. of their sin and believe in their hearts that Jesus Christ is Lord, that you did die for the sins, that you shed their blood for the sins. I pray for Quan right now, right now, yes, you could Lord. reach right into that jail cell. Yes, it is right. not too far. You are not hindered. You are not limited. You could reach right into that jail cell yes. right now and touch him, Father. Touch his heart right now. Convict him, Lord. Let him know that he needs to get right with you. Let him be free from sin first before he's yes. free from his physical right. bonds. Let him be free from sin and from death and from hell, Lord. I pray that you would save him, that you would draw him unto you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would give him supernatural favor in the court. Yes, um, Lord. Uh, yes. uh, in front of the parole board, That's wherever right. it is yes. that he needs to go in the courtroom, Father, and I just thank you for him. I also ask that you would protect him while he's in that place. Cover mm, his yes. physical body. Let no harm come unto him right now in the name of Jesus, but rather let him be a testimony. Uh, provide all of his needs. Provide all of their needs according to your riches and your glory. Mm -hmm. uh, I pray that you will help our sister with her bills, yes. that she will provide for her family, that her fridge will be full, um, that they will have all yes, that Lord. they need. And I just thank you, Father, Jesus and give you glory and honor and praise yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Jesus Amen. 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 You be encouraged, sister. Yeah, let me see. Uh, and thank you. You know what? Before, uh, what's your name? Maria. Maria. Yeah. yeah uh, what came to my mind when you, when you said pray for your husband was another, another verse that you have to stand... You have to stand on the word of God. It is power. It is yes. life. It's, it's yes. God breathing. It's um, I, th I think Thessalonians says the actual word of God that is in work for us, for all who believe the word of God's at work for you. That's and right. I sense you have a real pure heart for God, yes. just a purity. Mm. And so if, if you read, if you stand in the word and declare this for your husband, um, you can stand in the gap for him because you guys are one flesh. So whatever you That's do right. affect, affects him totally. Come like on. talk about, talk about communion, take communion that will affect him. Pray and mm. worship that prayer and worship has to affect him because you're one. So check out first Corinthians, um, seven verse, uh, 14. Just for the unbelieving Amen. husband has been sanctified uh -huh. through his wife. Come on. So if you stand on the word of God in his power, yes. you will affect his life. Amen. If you don't, like, uh, if you don't stand on the word of God, um, you really have nothing to hold on to. So praise God. I really see a pure heart out of yes. pure heart purity. Amen. Stand up at first Corinthians seven, 14. Seven fourteen. You Amen. you have the power. It says, it says in the word Thank she has so the power. Much. God bless you. Amen. God bless, God bless you, sister. sister. Be encouraged. Stay encouraged. Thank you so much. Nicole Amen. referred me, guys. Okay, praise God. Amen. God bless y'all. All right. God, God bless. bless. You. Give us updates. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Once again, the lines are open for prayer and questions only. On we would love to pray with you. Somebody Praise just had God. like a comment here. You wanted prayer for like a five of your grandchildren. Tap into the Zoom. That's why we, you know, we got the Zoom here. We want to see your face. We want to be able to talk with you live. That's the whole, you know, whole purpose of this. That's why we opened up the lines. Unless you don't know how to, you know, access Zoom, then, then we could do it. Somebody asked, who was it? Let me see. Let me come uh, down here. It was Pauline Garcia. Pauline. Pauline, jump into Zoom. Go to Zoom.com. And then just Marlene, join the room. Jimmy. Prayer and questions. Oh, praise God. What are our two choices? Prayer and what else? Prayer and um, what was it? Um, questions. So, okay. So if I get, okay. I just forgot the second one. <laughs> Somebody said fast and pray. Amen. Fasting and praying is a really great way to, to, beat, mm. down, to beat down your flesh and all of his desires. Let's you go know, deeper. Yeah. Come on, let's Show go. Yeah, down. fast and worse when you do it correctly. <laughs> you know, some people say, uh, I always hear people say this, I fast all the time. When I, I, I think I was talking to Jeremy and Andrew, I both about this. Yeah. I, I, only eat, I don't even eat that much. But the moment you tell yourself your flesh, that's how your flesh works, your body works. The moment you say, well, listen, body, you're not going to eat for three meals today. Watch how much that flesh fights you because now you don't have the freedom to eat if, you know what I mean, if, if you truly want to go on a fast. And then what you do, yeah. a, a real fast is you substitute your meals 
with the word of God. Because if we're not mm. connected with the presence of God mm. and we don't connect with his presence, there ain't no fast. Come on. It's a diet. You must go to, to a fast food restaurant, stuff your face. Come on, Hallelujah. Come on, evangelist. <laughs> I'm trying to cut back with all that. Uh, you're doing chunky. better. The pictures you're sending me of the salads and of the um, of the better. I'm, I mean, I started juicing. <laughs> oh yeah, you're juicing. I mean, Gerard's already on the steak and the and the and, and the that's all he eats. <laughs> and the, he always eats steak. Salad. Yeah, that's all he eats. Oh my steaks. god! Almost every time well, we go there, this guy cooking his ribeyes, all the nice steaks and that is rice. Nice. <laughs> Don't believe him. <laughs> Listen, um, work, work, Praise work God. The salads now are happening. Mm -hmm. God is good. Praise Amen. God. Anybody want to come in? Come on, somebody. You want to come in to the Zoom for some prayer? We would love to pray with you, encourage you. Yeah, we just, wow. we just going through the comments as well. Tori says, put on the whole armor. Amen. That's something that the yes. Lord was speaking to us about the other day as us three brothers got together yes. in prayer. You know, the Lord is saying, put on the armor. You know, the, the, the devil's crafty. When you when you got the armor on, you could discern. You could see him coming. You could sniff him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We were. Good word. Amen. Put on the armor. I want to do a study again on the armor. It's been a while. I want to study every piece again. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah, thank you. More confirmation. What's up, hey. David? Avale, we see you in here. Hey, yeah. praise God. Blessings, bro. Hey, Dave, how's it going? Praise God. God, good, good God is good. good um, I think I think I think the surprise word for today is like communion. Mm. Really, really, you know, the Bible says, uh, be anxious for nothing but everything in prayer. So and thanksgiving so wow. as you take the blood and the body thank god god will move he will act he he, he is not he doesn't lie i think the word today is uh communion right. Commun god's, i mean the, god speaking communion take communion be thankful for his blood and see what god will do through his power the blood even that woman um maria 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 and juan maria and juan we declare victory that's and how the Puerto Ricans, uh, like some of my family members, they're like Juan. They always Juan. say Juan. It's, yeah, it's, it's just Juan, though. I can do they that. They put Juan. a little, little sazon on it. You know, Juan. 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 There you go. It's like a, it's like a J with, it's like a J with a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little Boricua gotta, flavor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Right, we're going to leave it open for a little while. We're going to tap out. I, you know, we, we know God's been speaking so much about the blood. We don't want to say it for 10 hours. And, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure we can all go second round. Because there's so much, the blood goes real, real, real extra deep. But um, we know that yeah, God is yeah. speaking. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. You know, it's, 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 it's important, saints, that you just stay encouraged. Mm -hmm. and one of the words that I'm hearing right now is just being quiet for a minute is, is, is um, tenacity and endurance. Mm. You need to have some yeah. tenacity and you need to have some endurance. Wow. I, know I, received that. Get, I know things can get rough I sometimes. I know sometimes you want to give up. I know sometimes you get tired. But you need tenacity. You need to be able to get knocked down and get up and keep going. You need to endure. Check it out. I'm going to tell you why. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Let's look at, uh, praise God. Let's look at Hebrews 12 really quickly. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight mm -hmm. and the sin which doeth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that Ooh, is set on. before us. So listen, lay aside all weight, because when you're weighed down in your burden, it's easier for sin to come upon you. Come on. All right. Say, thank you, Jesus. Your yoke is easy and your burden is light. light. <laughs> Give it to him. His yoke is easy and his like burden that. is light. Yeah. All right. Do not be weighed down by anything. Don't let anything weigh you down, because what happens is the devil never comes when you're strong and built up in the faith and in the spirit. Ah, come on. He always comes when you're weak. There's a term when I when we used to be in the streets and I used to be on them corners moving around and I had enemies trying to come for me and look for me. There was a term. Brother said, don't get caught slipping. Ah, come on. All right. They come at an opportune okay. time when I'm yeah. not looking. It means they come when you're not ready. Lacking. All right. See, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Check come this on. out. Don't let it weigh you down and have you distracted. It says run with patience right. the race that is set before you doing what? <laughs> Looking unto Jesus, the author, author. and finisher of yeah. our faith, faith. who Thank for the Lord. joy that was set before him endured the cross. Mm. Remember, we need Ooh. some endurance. Yeah. He endured. He, listen, I need it, Lord. He endured Amen. the cross so you can endure whatever it is that you're dealing with. That's right. He wow. endured the cross, despising wow. the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. 
For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your own minds. So listen, keep your mind on Christ. Consider what he went through and what mm -hmm. he had to deal with. Otherwise, your own problems are going to overtake you, and they're really not even that big of a deal. Mm. Mm, come on. Compare. Yet, That's right. Ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Blood ain't mm. been shed. Come on, man. Have, have y'all been thrown in prison for the gospel yet? Mm. Somebody mm. came and busted you upside mm. your head with a rock. But are you really going through something? What do you do? L listen, these boys was thrown in prison. They was beaten upside their head. Here, I just want to read some. Look, look, look at this. And others had trials of cruel mockings and scourgings. Yes, moreover, bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered mm. about in sheepskins and in goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves uh, of the earth. Come on. Mm. We going through That's that? Uh -huh. is, is, is somebody dealing with that tonight? Wow. Come on, man. Give God some praise. Listen, Amen. what you're dealing with, what you're dealing with, you can overcome by the blood of the Lamb. That's and right. Religious. What yeah. you're dealing with, you can overcome. Pray in Love. tongues, pray in the Holy Spirit, get in the word of God, increase your faith. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Stop focusing on earthly things. Set your mind on things above. There you will have perfect peace. Amen. Put them on Jesus Christ. You have not resisted striving against sin. You have not resisted unto blood, it says, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaking unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourges every son whom he receiveth. Listen, sometimes God allows us to go through some things as well mm -hmm. to teach us some correction. Whenever God corrects you, you know that you are loved by him and you know that you are his child. That's Sometimes right. he lets right. us go through things. But listen, set your mind on things above. Endure. Just endure. Have some endurance because I'm telling you right now, right at the end of it, what do you say? He, what do people always say? He may not show up when you want him, but he's always on time. Always God on is time. always on time. Amen. He knows how much you can take. He knows what you can deal with and what you can't deal with. Listen. Just wait on God. Be patient. Be still. Don't worry. Do your part. Consecrate yourself unto him. That's your part. Amen. Amen. Don't let anything stop you from consecrating yourself unto the Lord. That's true. Pauline, how do you get on? You go to zoom.com. And what do they sign in at? It says join. I think it says join a you room. Go to join. Um, you go to join. You enter the, the meeting. And then it'll ask you for the passcode, which is right underneath. So go to right Zoom. There. Just hit join. You're putting that meeting ID number, which is 878-370-68391. Then you'll just put in the passcode, passcode. right underneath. Hey, man, shout out to uh, Tori Howard. She's tagging all her people in here. I see you tagging Joshua Green. Praise Tammy. God. She tagged Tammy Jean. She just tam she's just, um, just tagging away. some of her people in here. You can tell them to send us all the friend requests as well. We Praise see God. Jasmine McPherson. Well, she got married now. So Vasquez, her last name. We see all of you in here. Megan's still in here tapping in. So praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we're going to wait just, just a little a brief moment before we end with our final words and, and, and prayer. We're going to, mm -hmm. the, the line is open. We hope all of you are encouraged that there's victory in the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you don't have to be a slave to sin. You don't have to be a slave to yeah. the old person as you used to be. There's freedom. Because there's freedom. Yeah, the freedom. Not freedom to do what you want to do, but freedom no. to do the will of God. No. That's what Freedom that's from what, sin. Come on. Don't let, yeah, don't let freedom hinder you. And that's what the grace of God is about. The, the grace of God <laughs> helps us you. to, what can hinder us? Freedom. Said, the, the, the freedom. freedom. <laughs> oh, okay. The grace of God is to help us obey the word of God. That's what the grace is about. Come Obedience. On, grace ain't so I could keep making excuses for my sin. If I'm still fornicating a year, two years, what? Where, where's the power in the blood? Where's the right. power in right. Jesus? Right. He yeah. died on yeah. the cross for homosexuality, fornication, for, for the thieves, for the murderers. Am I still Come angry on. all the time? He died on the cross for depression. Why am I always sad? You know, he, yeah. where's my joy at? Where's the, the, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh. You know, where does joy come from? When you, when you have a revelation of the blood of Jesus and, and you're set free, joy yeah. enters you. Cause you, you think know. about things in heaven. Like what brother Gerard said, you, your mind, come your mind on, is on somebody. things above. And you're saying, wow, one day I, I'm going to, I'm going to be face to face with Jesus. Come I'm going to be somebody. talking with Jesus. And guess what? It's never going to end. It's going to be for eternity. Every tear come is going to be wiped away. 
I don't, I don't, sadness is going to be foreign to me. I'm not going to even know what sadness is or depression anymore. Those are the things we got to look, look onto. That's heaven, you know, peace, love, joy, and the Holy ghost. That's the kingdom yeah. of God. Amen. That's true. Amen. Yeah. A lot. What I meant by that was a lot of people take God's grace and the blood and yes. he, he died for our sins. You know, I was reading Corinthians a couple of days ago. First Corinthians, first Corinthians eight, you know how it says knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Mm. Then, and then it goes down here. <laughs> it says, on. be careful. However, that you don't exercise your freedom that God gave you Ooh. does not become a stumbling block to the weak. Come on, so somebody. your freedom can also become your stumbling block. Oh, I can do that. I can do this. He's I'm covered under the blood, but, um, but yeah, don't let your freedom overtake you. It'll make you fall also because there's not a soft, there's not a soft love out there. God said, I want all you. I'm jealous of you. Yeah, I yeah. died for you. I chose, you know, back in the day, they chose to love Christ and they lied. They, they had circumcision. They cut themselves and they had to have a healing period. But after that healing period and waiting on God, they forgot about God. God said, I'm going to, I'm going to choose to love you and, and you be my people yes. and you can choose. Yes. Praise so, God. Um, oh, don't, don't let your freedom, you know, you know, like, like Gerard said, I think last week, grace of God should make Come you on. want to be less sinful. The grace of, not grace of God should make you, the world says the grace of God allows me to do more sin. The grace of God should allow you to, should make you want to do. Well, I, I heard one brother say, well, well yes. I'll say this first. Grace is the power not to sin. Amen. We have the grace of God not to sin. So we're free from the consequence of sin and we're free from sin through the power of God. Listen, the more you consecrate yourself, the more you'll find this to be true in your own mm. life. Number one, there's no one good. There's no one righteous. I don't want to hear, oh, he's a murderer. He did. No, listen, we're all sinners. Mm. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is going to sound really mean, but it's true. Because the Bible says there is none righteous, no, not one. Mm. Everybody who's in hell deserves to be there. Mm. Everybody who's in heaven don't deserve to be there. Mm. Mm. Okay. That right there is wow. the very good definition work. of the grace good, of God. Call my attention. Amen. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Everybody yeah. who's in hell deserves to be there. Good. Everybody's in that's made it to heaven, they don't deserve to be there. They don't. Mm -hmm. But that's the grace of God. That's the cross. That's what the blood Amen. did. Yep. That's the Amen. reason for this whole thing. The blood of Jesus. Eternal life. Fellowship, relationship with God. We were afar off. We were his enemy, but now we're up close, personal. He is our father. None of us deserve to go to heaven, but the blood of Jesus gave us that. Praise God. Amen. For Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I'm sure Pauline is having uh, trouble getting in, but we could, you know, we never ever turn down prayer when somebody wants prayer. We, we, we could just pray here through. Um, yeah. Until she figures it out for next week. We'll, we'll go. We could pray for your grandchildren. She put all five names here. I believe Thank one says our kids. Oh, for, okay. Yeah, yeah. The other one was grandchildren. the grandchildren. Yeah, I'm afraid okay. for my five kids, please. Christy, Marlene, Jimmy, and Johnny. That's four. One, two, three, four. Or there may be another one. Oh, praise God. We'll pray for the one that wasn't named, too. Hey, Amen. The Lord knows who he is or she. He knows praise him God. or her. Okay, she says she couldn't get in. She tried. We're, we're going to pray for him anyway. We're going to pray praise for God. you right here anyways. That's it. Amen. God. God is good. Father, in Jesus' name, we just, yes, we just thank you for all of uh, Pauline's children, Lord God. We thank you for Christy, Marlene, Jimmy, Johnny, and for whoever the other one is, Lord God, you know who that person is. May you touch all of our children, Lord. And if they don't know you, may you take the blindness off of their eyes. May you find them. Many people say, oh, I found the Lord, but Lord, we're lost without you. So we don't yes. find you. You find us by your Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, may you just come upon her children and may you, you save their soul. May you draw them to the Lord because you are the one that draws us yes, to the Father. We can't come in the flesh. Holy Spirit, draw them to you. Convict them of sin, judgment, and of righteousness, O oh God. It may a hunger just be placed inside of them right now, even as we pray and we trust you, Father God. And we just come against every assignment of the enemy over their life. Yes. And we pray that yes. your will be yes. done. We silence the voice of the enemy, and we pray that you give them grace to be a doer of your word and not a hearer mm -hmm. only, O oh God. And may they produce fruit, much fruit that remains. And may they be mighty soul winners in these last days before you come back to take the church without spot or wrinkle. And may they walk in holiness by, by the power of your Holy Ghost, by the blood that was shed on the cross. And even right now, we plead the blood of Jesus yes, upon Jesus. Pauline, her family, and all her children. And we pray that you set them free to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Blessing, saints. Blessing, saints. Anyone got a final word before we tap out? Um, hmm. I mean, mm, the blood. We can go right. on. All right, we can go on. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I, the only it, it's just still on my heart. Just endure, saints. Amen. amen. Just endure. Amen. Christ did all the heavy lifting. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. Don't let uh -huh. yourself be weighed down trying to do it yourself, trying to That's earn right. something. No, 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 no. He Amen. sanctified you already. Remember what we said, consecration is your responsibility. You make sure Amen. that you're consecrated. Turn, stop watching that show. Turn that thing off. Stop Amen. having those conversations. Stop going in those environments. Stop putting yourself in those situations. Don't make provision for the flesh. That's right. Consecrate yourself unto God because you now belong to him. He suffered and he died to reconcile you back to him. Uh -huh. So come back to him. Fellowship with him. Abide with him. Amen. 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 Now we, we say that every week that that's really or every other week. It's just many people try to do the will of God, but without the fellowship. Yeah. You know, wow. they, they want to yeah. please God, but there's no fellowship with Jesus. Mm. You know, you, you, you're not in the word of God, you know? So the more you're in the word of God, then you're able to resist temptation, you know, cause that, that's a yes. form of prayer. Prayer is what you're talking to God and you're, there's a two way dialogue. It's a conversation you're having, you know? So even as I'm reading my Bible, I'm hearing God talk to me. You know, he, he's reminding mm -hmm. me, he's, I, I could be just having my mind all over the place and I'm, I'm in the scripture and all of a sudden it says, put your mind on things above, not on things of this earth. Well, that's God talking to you right there. You got to take it. Come on, somebody. Said, wow, you just, you just reminded me that I got to take my mind off all this stuff going on in this world and I got to put it back on, on your promises, you know, that you will provide all my need, that there's healing Amen. in the blood of Jesus, that you died on the cross, that there's no, con Amen. all the promises of God, you know, so don't, don't try to serve God without spending time with them. It just don't work like that. You're going to continue to fail. That's not, that's not biblical. Yeah. If you want to be set free, you got to spend time with the author and finisher of our faith, with the author of that's the right. Bible, with yeah. the Holy Ghost himself. How do you do that? That's right. Spend time in your Bible. Prayer, the basics that's that we learned as little that. children. But the mm -hmm. thing is, when you actually do it, like what Gerard said, you got to con continuously do it. What was it? The endurance. Not just one time. Oh, today I'm going to read it because I'm sad or because I want to feel because everything's going great. Let me just give God glory because I got a, a bonus in my check. No, this is a daily thing that you do. Why? Because he shed his blood for me. That's why I want to spend fellowship with him. And because I know the devil wants to destroy me. And Brother Lou is too weak to fight the devil. My flesh gets destroyed. But guess what? When I crucify this flesh by spending time with Jesus, because sometimes the flesh don't want to do it. Actually, all the time, the flesh don't want to read. It hates the things yeah. of God. But I say, flesh, you shut up in Jesus' name. You're going to get in that room. You're going to read that Bible. You're going to hear on, some somebody. worship music. You're going to be still in huh. Jesus' name. Before yes. you know it, I'm in a whole different realm. I walk out this whole room Amen. totally different. Like, and nothing bothers me. I'm at peace. The kids could be screaming. I'm going to say, hey, I, like nothing. I'm going to say at peace. You know, Amen. it's easier said than done. But that's why, that's what it's by faith. You don't get yeah. into your word because you feel. It's because you know he shed yeah. his blood. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but I was just gonna, yeah. yeah, I was just going to say that um, we sleep on the principles. We sleep on the blood. We sleep on, on Jesus' name. We get excited once in a while. We hear it. And then all of a sudden we, we, we put I mean, Jesus' name, he said, when I leave, uh, 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 you can do greater things. We saw Jesus do many miracles, but he said, when I leave, mm. when I leave the planet, yeah. greater things will you do when the Holy Spirit comes. The Holy Spirit only came through the blood. Why do we hear, even myself, what Lewis and Gerard just said, you, you have to every day not feel it, not feel tinglies, not feel yep, yep. like, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 not feel heat over your body. And then, and then you won't be reminded. You won't be reminded at night. You won't be reminded uh, uh, before you go to bed. You got to endure. Like Gerard said, you got to push mm -hmm. yourself. You can't sleep on the blood. The blood defeat is the enemy, defeats the enemy. The name of Jesus defeats the enemy, but, but even more so, well, not more so, but just as, as powerful as the name of Jesus, the blood scares the hell out of the devil That's right. because that is what defeated him on the cross. It overtook, it, it overtook the grave. It had no mastery over death. It defeated Satan on the cross, proving that he is God. If you use the blood and you use the yes. name of Jesus and Amen. endure it in like what Jamar said in endurance yep. every day. Listen to me. Listen to me. Everyone out there. Even I'm, I'm speaking to myself every morning. You will be discouraged every morning. You will say there's no hope every morning. You will say, uh, uh, 
that wasn't real until your flesh and your spirit always battle. Mm. Uh, it says there's a war for yep. your soul. You have to get up in the morning and you, I, I love the word endurance. Endurance is the, is the, is the ending word of the Come night. On. With the blood, with yeah. the name of Jesus, the <laughs> devil's going to wake you up in the morning and say, don't pray. The devil's going to say your situation mm. is, is out of reach. Yep. You, you'll never get a job. You'll never do this. You'll never do that. If you tap into the Holy Spirit, you'll be reminded every day. Amen. Holy, cra holy crap. Why am I not praying every day? The power that I'm feeling right. So you got to push your spirit to use the blood and use the name of Jesus Amen. every Jesus. day. Your flesh will will tell you tomorrow morning, don't pray. I can guarantee you that. That's not a prophecy. That's a guarantee. Tomorrow morning, you will wake up in the morning saying, don't pray. You're mm. good. Mm. But your hey, spirit Jared. is going to die. Your situation is going to die if you don't use the name of Jesus Christ. I love yeah. endurance. I love hey, endurance. Hey, I need endurance. Sorry. <laughs> Someone, Megan said, Jeremy should play the guitar and worship Whoa. us out. That's confirmation to the blood song. Why not? Why not? That's Come just, on, go get, go get it. Get that weapon. Get the weapon. Yeah. Where's it at? Remember we talked about that. We should play. look. It's right by him. Look, he he acting like he ain't got it. It's right there. Look. What could wash look. away my sins? Here's the guitar, guys. Hold See, up. listen. He if we sing it. along with Jeremy, there's a delay, so we don't we don't know. He might just play the instrumental. The problem is you don't want to hear me Come sing. On. What could wash Jasmine away? Jasmine what could wash away our sins? Great... Oh, Jasmine McPherson used to hear you sing. No, well, no. Jasmine McPherson has a great voice. Oh. Um, we sang together, but I hid behind, I hid behind, <laughs> I hid behind her voice and in youth. I mean, the spirit came down. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. She's Vasquez now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nope. sorry. Put some respect McPherson. on her last she'll name. Always, she'll always be McPherson to me. <laughs> the blood. Well, well, what else can wash away our sins, Jeremy? Amen. I don't know what key it's in. I'm just try. What can wash away our sins? What Come on, bear with us. We're not mute. Away our sins. Come on, nothing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yeah. What can make me whole Woo. again? Nothing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yeah. What can wash away my sins? What can wash away? Hallelujah. My the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus. What can make me whole? What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Nothing but Nothing the, blood. Uh -huh. the blood of Jesus. Jesus. What can wash away yeah. my sins? What can wash away my sins? What? Come on, somebody. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That's right. That's all. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yeah. One more time. What can wash away my sins? Nothing. What? Nothing but the blood, the blood. of Jesus. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, hallelujah. Make me whole again. Thank you, Lord. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Nothing. <laughs> nothing but the blood of Jesus. Mm, nothing. Come on. Nothing but the blood. Yeah. Come on, just give a little praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Too late. Glory to it's not too late. We don't got to be in a church. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes right now. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, Lord, by the blood, yeah. by the, the blood, blood I'm Jesus. washed. Blood, the blood. Say, Lord, by the blood, I'm cleansed. Thank you. Oh, by the blood, I'm forgiven yes. of all my sins. Thank just tell them by the blood, Hallelujah. by the blood, there's healing. Yes. By the blood, there's peace. He was pierced for our transgressions. Yes, he was crushed for our sins. Thank you, Father. The chastisement of peace was upon him. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. There's peace in our lives. Say, Lord, I want peace Thank right you. now. Peace, Lord. Whatever Hallelujah. my mind's going through. Yes, Lord. Whatever distress, whatever discouragement, whatever anxiety, whatever depression. Say, there's there's peace yes, in your blood. There's peace in your blood. Say, Lord, there's just declare it. There's peace, there's peace in, Lord, your blood. in your blood. There's peace. Yeah. Even in your situation, like Paul and Silas, Joy. praise is faith. 
Remember that praise is faith. You praise while you're in your storm. You praise while you're in your storm. You praise while you're in your storm. You praise while you're in jail. Yes. You praise while you're depressed. You uh-huh. praise while your kids are out in the streets. Yes. You praise and God defeats his enemies. He pushes the enemies back. He drives out demons. He drives out demons. Hallelujah. Who can make yes. me whole again? Only one thing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Mm-hmm. One more time. What can make me whole again? What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood, blood, the blood. of my Jesus. King Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just Hallelujah. declare right now. Say, yes. Lord, in your blood. Your blood. In your blood, oh God. In your blood, oh God. In yes, your blood, Lord. oh God. In Jesus' name, Lord, we Hallelujah. declare your blood, oh God. Thank you, We Lord. declare the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus that sanctifies us, that forgives us. You became the curse for us, the sacrifice for our sins. You proved, Lord, your love on the cross. You are on our side. That's the confidence David had as he's killing the Goliath. He said, the blood. The G- Jesus is on my side. Hallelujah. The blood of Thank Jesus. You. How much more? If, if Imagine if Jesus died for David. Imagine how much more confident he would be. He, mm. he would be. He knew how faithful God was even before That's Jesus right. died for him. Imagine mm. how, how confident David would be if he was in the era of Jesus dying for him. He would be an yes. unstoppable. Boy. He was already confident in his God. I'm confident in my God because my God proved how much he loves me on the cross. Mm. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you once again, Lord. We thank you for your mighty touch on this podcast today. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us the words to speak to your people, Lord, that are tuned into this podcast about the precious blood of Jesus. How there's victory. How there's deliverance. There's freedom in your blood. Your, Your word of God says, Lord, that through your stripes, we are healed physically, mentally, spiritually in every area of our life. We just have to trust in you, Lord God, and we can walk in obedience to your word. Not because we're good, not because anything that we're trying to do. It all starts from fellowship with you, oh God. Bring us back to worship. Bring us back to fellowship and with you in our secret place, in your word. Intimacy in your word, oh God. We're cleansed by your word. We're cleansed by just spending time in your presence. And we can stand against the wiles of the devil as we put on the armor of God. So have your way with everybody, Lord. Give them a great night's rest today. And may your will be done in all of our lives, oh God. And if we're outside of your will, convict us by your spirit, Lord. Convict us by your word as we spend time in the word and help us to walk in obedience because we can't do anything with our own flesh, but only by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your spirit, oh God. Thank you for your precious blood that sets us free in Jesus' name. Amen. So there goes Jirai. He's coming back in. Let me see. Maybe he wants everybody bye. <laughs> Jesus. We should, Amen. Do a, we should do a worship session. One yeah, time. we're going to do a worship session. What you guys think? We're going to do that. Hey, we, we just, we just, come on, one last song. We got to just worship God a little more time. <laughs> we, feeling, hey, we, we, just closed out in, we just closed out in prayer, but. One more time. My computer died. Let's just, let's just, come let's on. Just, let's just declare that he is the Lord over our lives. Oh, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Time. Come on. You Woo. are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord, you reign, you reign forevermore. Uh You are the Lord, you are the Lord. There is no other God. You are the Lord, you are the Lord. Come on, people, wherever you at, surrender, hallelujah. You reign forevermore. You are the Lord, you are the Lord. You reign forevermore. Just declare it. You are the Lord, you are the Lord. Uh He reigns forevermore. Yeah, the blood. If you declare it, demons will flee. If you declare it, peace will come. If you declare it, demons will flee. Walls will break. Chains will fall. Chains will fall. One more time. Declare he is the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. There is no other God. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You reign forevermore. Uh, you are the Lord. You yeah. are the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is no other God. 
That's right. No other you God. You are the God of my life. Jesus. I consecrate myself to you. You are the God of my life, oh God. I rededicate my life to you. I make you fully and solely, oh my God. I push out darkness in my life. Yeah, and I say yeah. you are the God of all gods. You are the king of my kings in my Jesus. life. Ooh, one more time and then, and then we're done. Come on. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. There is no other God. No other one. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You reign forevermore. Uh huh. You reign forevermore. It doesn't, matter kind of, it doesn't matter what kind of voice you have. Is declaring <laughs> it's declaring the power over your life. Things will change. The presence Hallelujah. changes you. And it's your heart. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Well, we already closed in prayer. We just thank all of you for joining us in worship, joining us for the word. Make sure all you guys share this. And uh, we're, we're going to have a worship. We're going to come out here one night and just worship with all of you. So and we'll, we'll probably invite a whole bunch of you into the Zoom where we can worship together. Sing together. Praise God. Jeremy's like, he's like David. He's a, he's a worshiper, man. He's anointed at that guitar. Now, forget all that false humble stuff. <laughs> Jeremy's anointed on the guitar. God. God bless yeah. him with a gift. And he's gifted. So praise the Lord. God bless all of you. Have a wonderful night. Amen. <laughs>